Luggy, do you run EV? Or... Oh, hello, everybody. I am Joker Sleeps, and with me are Luggy Starstream and Razor's Edge. Hello, you two. Hello. Hello. Um, so today we have the race between Etiquette, Headstrong, and Sandy. Uh, it's going to be a fun one. Who do you think? Do you think uh, Sandy can pull the upset? Um, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be exciting. Um, it should be a good race. I do think Headstrong could pull the upset, if anything. Well, honestly, you you tell me that any of these runners finish in any order, and I'd be like, yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, yeah. A lot of it's going to come down to, you, you know, a lot of the RNG, a lot of the catch counts, uh, a lot of the Archer 2 fights. Yeah. This maybe let's race. Well, I see uh, Headstrong's average star UCP is 1114. But I think it wasn't that good, if I recall, for an 1114. So <laughs> hopefully she can get a better one. I mean, CP's a well, lie. <laughs> It's also a sample size of one. Yeah, that too. Um, <laughs> Etiquette's nice 1032 average star UCP. That's pretty bad, because average is 1061, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be exciting. I think it's going to be a close race. Um, yeah. Yeah, like, a lot of it's going to come down to, you know, what we see early on. Um, what people's catch counts look like. Do people have to start bleeding catches early because things aren't showing up? Do people uh, find a glowing chancy and then just get to over-level all of Cerulean? You know, there's... All, it's so much on the line, so much to say, and all of these runners are exceptional at this game. Yeah. Well, you know, I kind of found Let's Go Through um, Etiquette's, like, GDQ run, and then mm -hmm. I was watching both Etiquette and Headstrong, like, going for world record, like, back then. So, they're, like, two runners have been this game for a long time, and then Sandy's, like, kind of newish, um, but, you know, already have a sub 310 time, so. Yeah. And they put a lot into the mount skips category um, with setups and stuff. Mm -hmm. But... Um, now for the most oh. important part, um, Sandy. we get oh. two EVs as opposed to Pika. Yeah. Yeah, San <laughs> yeah, Sandy's running. Sandy, Sandy, go Sandy, go Sandy. Okay, oh, Evie. Okay, I was worried that we'd be all three pro Pika here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you run? I, I'm the Pika runner. Oh yeah, let's go. Yeah, I, I, I picked up Pika because, specifically because uh, my friend uh, Dijon Ketchup is an Eevee runner and wanted to do Diploma. Mm -hmm. And that's how I actually got into this game. Valid. Diploma's a really good run. Right? And I, I bet it's even better now because we played it way before we figured out the, the new catching formulas. This cutscene is very... Sounds like you need Very... to do another diploma then. Right? We, we need to find time. We need to make time. Let's do it. Okay, let's, let's see it. what everyone's choosing. Okay. Boy one, boy one, girl one. Wow. Alright. So, At so least we inspired. Have a girl one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, now. Sandy, come on. Okay, so so, San, so Sandy has the peak of point, Headstrong has the girl point, and then Etiquette has no points. <laughs> <laughs> Vice versa, Sandy has one, Yetta has one, cause Eevee. Ooh. Yeah. Sandy so, and Yetta only ever run boy one, this is fair. It is faster, so you, cause you end up dodging the input, but you know. Yeah, you really it, need it, that it's one of those seconds. things where unless you're, you really need to, unless we're getting down to like, frames of difference, it really doesn't matter. It and, doesn't. Let's face it, this game's RNG is all over the map. Truth, Greta, truth. I, uh... Yeah, here's the hardest menu in the game that eats all the inputs all the time. I don't want to talk about how many resets I did yesterday on this menu alone. 
<laughs> All three of them with good, good menus. Now we see your, our lame of rival. He's fine, no he's fine. Know. He just needs to click Bone Boomerang more. Imagine him actually choosing Bone Ring on the rat. Right? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so let's see what kind of Pikachu Sandy gets, because I think 27 is neutral for CP, and then 26 is something else. I don't even know if there's anything like that on the Eevee side. There is not. Eevees I all have the same it. CP across the board. Okay. Well, that doesn't help me. Yeah. <laughs> Sh Shoutouts to Pika getting all of the early information. <laughs> like you, you, you hit level six an entire fight early. You get to know yeah, other things. One, ex early one nature. freaking <laughs> EXP. That's it. Do Just you fun. know? Do you know? Um, do any of these runners have backups? I no don't idea. know. Okay, Pika's CP is twenty-six, so it could be. Could be minus attack. Ooh, got the X in it. That's not good. Ideally, none of these runners have to worry about the backups. Mm -hmm. Okay, apparently, Edda and Hedgehog have backups. I'm not sure about Sandy. Okay. Um, the good news uh, for Sandy, though, is that in general, Pika has a bit more flexibility in what natures are worth continuing with. Um, I mean, if you, if you just catch glowing Clefable's and Chansey's, then nature doesn't matter. True. True. So catch, just catch those. Be like level 20 coming out of them um, easy. Yeah, if, if Eevee, I were... Eevee's 68% if you're willing to run minus speed. Mm -hmm. Under if they'll check stats. I Sandy is twenty six CP, so it is. Let's see the strongs. Headstrong has quirky. I think that's neutral. Quirky is neutral. See... I and see Pika bold for And oh, Pika is black. quiet. Quiet? I don't know what these are. <laughs> I'm just reading words. <laughs> quiet is plus speed? Minus? Quiet? I don't know what quiet is. Is quiet is minus speed or plus speed? I'm just Googling it. Uh, quiet is, quiet is plus special, special minus, minus speed. speed. Okay. Okay. It's the opposite of Jolly. I I only know Jolly, Tim, and Modest Adamant natures. Headstrong's mischievous. Okay, so plus special attack na characteristic. I have no. I never. I never check my nature, so I have no idea what characteristics are. Also, Pika Pika doesn't really matter. Look at these Rattatas on etiquette screen. They were in bad positions. Yeah, we're getting some aggressive spawns uh, for both etiquette and Sandy, which is always fun on this first route run pass. I think everyone should just know that Headstrong just has a commanding lead right here. I don't think I don't think the Headstrong can lose this lead right now. I think it's uh, insurmountable. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy did get the bonus point for trapping the Pika on the ledge. <laughs> this race is over. Who's gonna- well, Etiquette or Headstrong get turn one paired by the Pikachu and then get paired five times in a row and lose all the time. I would hope not. Getting paired is just terrible. Mm -hmm. Oh, so Sandy could three-shot this Eevee because plus special attack? Uh, commentator's curse don't exist when I'm commentating, so it's fine. Uh, so you're out here with the Uno reverse for the curse. <laughs> yeah, so we'll end up cursing Sandy. 
sorry, obviously, Sandy. obviously, I'm just trying to curse them all so they're all worse than my time. So I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Joker wants to end up in pop. Uh, like, he wants to end up in upper bracket. Oh, oh no. that's right! <laughs> it home. happened! <laughs> the para! Oh, uh, still, still get through it. Oh, hey, a second par paralysis over on Sandy's side. Yeah. Okay, Queen. It looks, hey, it was looks fine. like it's gonna be the three shot, too. No, see? Fully paired did not happen. No fully. Headstrong did not get fully paired. It's fine. Okay, now Etiquette has the insurmountable lead. Can't lose it. I, I don't know how Headstrong lost her lead. Damn. I'm, I'm just gonna blame Status Lug. <laughs> Which is. Screw you, Status Lug. Valid. Still the most baffling thing to me. Like, how is, is this game programmed such that a Pokemon having a status effect causes the AI to take, like, extra sec- literal seconds of time to make a decision. I- who is gonna get Bulbasaur in Forest? I'm voting three for three. Three for three? Okay. So I bet will you- will it be the second race with everyone getting Frick? I bet you someone will see a Butterfree or a Beaker. Probably. The question Even is whether or not they go for it. I think they totally should, because it's such an easy catch. They, like, stay in place, they have high catch counts, or high catch rate, totally worth it. This is a boring... Yeah, he, oh, he, so... Joker's not being sarcastic there at all. Don't do it. It is a bad idea. So, let's see if Sandy can get a plus special attack AV here. Let's see. Honestly, at level 6, I'm usually looking for just the one plus attack. Oh, okay. it was? Okay, so, oh. the Caterpie, the Caterpie on, um, in Forest, 1 in 16 range to one shot. I learned that because in our race, Aspect did it. So Sandy could also do it. Could get a 1 16 range and kill the Caterpie in one turn instead of two. Etiquette and Headstrong both electing to not catch the early bug with the bonus catch rate for the newbie bonus? I only catch them if I accidentally run into them. Cause that is fair. Just cause um, he's gonna speed. grab the Caterpie here. Not sure if intentional or not, but uh, is happening regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice uh, here early on the First of all, it gives you a second Pokemon to catch in with in case a Frick does show up. Um, secondly, that Pokeball is about as strong as a Great Ball is normally uh, based because you haven't gone into Forest yet because the game gives new players that nice bonus. Okay, so who who is going to get Sand Attacked by the Pidgey and then start missing? It's not going to be Sandy. Why are you wishing this bad luck on everybody? Jeez. <laughs> I just have to tell people what bad things are coming up. They won't happen. Except Archer. Archer is always bad, so. Listen, <laughs> if anybody in this chat knows how bad this fight can be, it's me. Oh, did not get the 1 in 16 range on the Caterpie. Unlucky. So unlike Pika, Eevee can't one-shot this Pidgey. PG does have sand attack, and if it starts spamming it, and you keep missing, fights can go really bad really See? fast. See? No sand attack. See? Nothing happens. Commentary curses don't do this. I've lost two and a half minutes on that fight before, and lived on two. I didn't even know the Pidgey had- I didn't even know the Pidgey it's had so moved. Bad. Imagine ever seeing that Pidgey- Oh, there's a Pikachu on both their screens. And on Sandy's screen! <laughs> you know, there's Sandy two right? Pikachus on Sandy's side. Oh, you yeah. know, this is AOP, Sandy. You should catch that and evolve it, right? Right? <laughs> okay, Etiquette, Etiquette's getting the worst, a worse cycle. Uh, so, like... That's, like, 80% to catch? Or, no, 71, 70, 70, low 70s to catch. Is there even, like, an easily available Thunderstone? Um, Only if you buy it. Well, just go to the power plant. 
I mean, if we are doing AOP, then I guess you have to go there for Zapdos anyway. Correct. And you get both Thunderstones in there. Well, we got a triple peek on Sandy's screen. Two in the grass, one on the shoulder. Sam. Okay. So Sandy's not depositing the bug. Headstrong is depositing Pika. Catching... Catching the... Oddish. I always catch Oddish on Route 2. But that's just so, weird. I guess Sandy is early enough that uh, they'll be able to pick up, you know, at least the Weedle, and if it's glowing, you'll you'll hit eight for sure, maybe even get up to nine where you would if you catch it outside. Um So, in my opinion, if you get the early bug, it's also fine to just catch another bug, one controller, like deposit the bug, and then just catch Metapod. Metapod is good XP. Uh, Metapod is good at EXP, mm -hmm. so this does work. That is a strat. Yeah, I, I personally think uh, waiting to see if you see a glowing uh, cocoon is better. Uh, just because, like, at that point you're getting the absolute pile of experience, but, you know, I think that comes down to rider preference and, you know, what they feel comfortable with. You teach double kick and slot one on EV? Uh, slot... normally slot three. Edda has a weird slotting on his... It's Edda preference? Pretty much. Yeah, like... You start in slot one by default, uh, slots two and four are equidistant, and slot three is basically the garbage move that you don't want to click ever. Edda does have um, a weird move order, this is fair, like this is true. He teaches headbutt slot four? No, in three? I thought it was slot four. Did, did Edda get think he heard Frick or something? He went backwards. I think he thought he heard bells or something. Yeah. Oh, he still needed a bell sprout. Okay. He got lucky. Nice. I wonder if he'll catch that Pidgey. I don't know if he likes early Pidgey or not. Or if he likes early non-glowing Pidgey, because you know, at least for me personally, I don't. I only really catch early bird or rat if I see something glowing. Uh, that Oddish is level 7. Gonna have to grow. Yes. Still is the Pika. Alright. Uh, Sandy with the lead in getting out of forest on their way to go face Brock. Only four Pokemon, though. That's that's something. <laughs> uh, experience don't even, extremely low. Don't even have point. don't even have Metapod or 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 Kakuna. <laughs> yeah, th this definitely feels like uh, Sandy. Like, Sandy has a baseline number of catches, it's more an issue of the amount of experience they've managed to pick up for their party. Namely the Pika? Yeah. Um, but with Pika having access to uh, two bonus catches on Route 3... Yeah, those um, exist. They, they exist, except when you need them, so I don't think Sandy's actually going to see them today. Okay, not getting the Pidgey. Let's see how see, Jack gets Oddish. Pika is. has access to two, okay. or like, two catches on Route 3. Eevee has access to Pika. 
The Scottish is okay. <coughs> and we also have access to... Oh, avoided the rock throw. throw. So it doesn't get the absorb text because full health. Minor time save. Yeah. And the one shot on Onyx is always nice. Well, yeah, one shot on Onyx is really good. I think growth guarantees the one shot, but I forget. That Sorry. wouldn't surprise Probably. me. But, you know, I try not to come into this fight at level 7. I just always catch around 2. That's fair. Unless I unless I accidentally hit the Oddish. Yeah. If I still need both bugs, I will definitely catch, catch Oddish after I'm lured. Um, but, you know, again, fight. again, it's a race. You kind of just want to make sure you pick up the required mons you need as you go, as you see them, and not really worry about spending too much time, for instance, doing the Route 2 roulette. Special defense AV? I don't know how good any EV stats are at all. I typically wait to check an attack and whatnot until they three I got okay. seventeen. So after 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 uh you beat Brock, you meet Blue and then Blue's like, You've gotta be your name, right? I always wanna put kidding there, so it's like you've gotta be kidding. But I always forget. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> All of our runners basically neck and neck if you factor in the difference in catch counts. Yep. That's super surprising. Splits are a lie in this game. Usually, usually people separate. It'll be um, route ten, like start of route nine, ten. Route nine and ten, um, rock tunnel, and yeah. uh, hideout is really where people separate. Mm -hmm. Though there can be uh, some divergence, uh, depending on where you're at in Moon, if things go really well or really poorly. This is actually also very true. Um, so the big goal we're looking for here uh, through this next section is, can we get level 15 on our starter? They're all in five positions now. Sandy gets oh, nice Sandrew! Let's see what's this Andrew. Okay, two seeing it. You can one see uh, Great Bee's Pokemon, which does save time because uh, you're not waiting for the animation. Or you can double Pokeball. Got the good attack, not the huge roll. Got the scratch. Scratch yeah, is nice so much better. Throw. The the roll you can still get excellent on, but you have to be like super precise and mm -hmm. it, uh, it's hard. So there's a fair bit of experience um, that's going to get uh, Kakuna for Sandy, so that's going to take a little bit of time for them as they sit back, wait for the animation to roll out. Buying this outrageous Magikarp, even though I spend more money to catch it in AOP. <laughs> <laughs> outrageous! Look, it's just a hologram. <laughs> A hologram that evolves into Gira. Well, that after all, it's truly been gorgeous. Water Dragon. Okay, who's ready for someone to get Onyx into Clefable into Chansey? So, I don't think that's going to happen. No? I think we're going to see Onyx spawn on top of you, someone running into Clefable into Chansey. No, Banky. Oh, there's still room for more room. Uh, Edit will get the Edit will get the Clefable, the Chansey, and the Onyx. Okay. I like the faith. <laughs> who's gonna get the, like? Was running AOP instead of any percent. <laughs> who, who's gonna get five Zubats in the Moonstone? I mean, oh nice you mean dodge of the Mew Joker. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, didn't hit the goal, the Geo dude.
But no, not just... one shotting the bells. Oof. You can one shot that. Headbutt? Yeah. That almost always does, unless you're like min an attack. No, I was making a joke. Because Pikachu can't. I know. I mean, sorry, not Pikachu. Oddish can't. Pikachu surely can't. That tells me Headstrong has almost zero AVs in attack, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. How bad is this Oddish? Oh, got the worst move, Rap. Okay, yeah, at least two shot it. Quite good. At least two shot it. The headstrong hit a Zubat. Will she catch it? Nope. nope. Running away. Yeah. Do not, not blame her for that. I don't like early Zub. It takes away the Golbat. Okay, you got two Geo dudes to spawn at least. Not glowing. Oh, and there's a Paris. All right. No glowing geodudes. A third geodude. Still not glowing. Okay, so Sandy's going to fight this trainer. Yeah, it's, like it's this first right? because you have Oddish in front already. It's a sand true. You one shot it with absorb and then you do your party menu and lure. Oh, there's a Clefairy oh. and a glowing geodude. That's a good start for Etta. Well, that's a good fight. Attack cycle. Oh, through a little too early. Doesn't really matter. It is still blowing, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plenty of EXP. He'll grab the clef and then just move forward, doesn't necessarily need to get the Paris for the EXP. Okay, let's see Sandy's room. Chancy! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yep, going for, going for it! Going for it! Let's go! I think this is like 70 something percent to get in if it's an excellent. I think it's like 68, if I remember. That's, the, that's the Fable. Chancey's a little better. I, I, I was looking at the spreadsheet last night. I Yo, think easy. Fable's a 65 and Chancey's a 68, but who cares? First try! Okay. 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 I really okay. watched the deposit. So, uh... Butterfree's gonna learn the powders if, uh... Sandy catches another Pokemon. Yeah. Sandy should absolutely... ...deposit these prior. Yeah, no, this is absolutely a... ...stop deposit right now. Um, any runner worth their salt. Any runner at this, uh, tier of competition is going to throw the, all those Pokemon directly into the box. With the exception of the Oddish. And the Pika. Okay. Because I mean, a level 15, you're only six levels away now. That's not all that bad. Okay, so Headstrong saw Clefairy. I missed that. So <laughs> Headstrong is done with catches? Or still needs Geodude? So, yeah. Still needs Geodude? Yes. Oh, yeah, uh, still uh, needs uh, Geodude. Yeah, unless Headstrong, you know, sees one of the extra bonuses. Like Sandy yeah. did. Okay, getting the Geodude. I, I don't think any of them have gotten double moves though. I don't know if I don't think any of them have checked, checked yet. I don't know yeah, if they have. Checked. Okay, perfect Geodude cycle. Imagine Geodude's punching on the first cycle. I never see that. <laughs> Is that going to hit a Geodude? Oh, no double it. runestone. Okay, etiquette. 
does not see the Moonstone. Everyone else is still in Evo menus. And sees the Paris. Let's go. Nope, oh, Hedron got hit by, by another z -Vet. z -Vet's all over the place. Yep. And here's Sandy doing the deposit as predicted. What did Etika hit? Oh, that pairs. Yep. Yeah. Which uh, is the one Pokemon he has left to catch from the main. Uh, three you find here. Yeah, that's that's very perfect. So every runner set on XP should be. Yeah, everybody is. Headstrong is the lowest, but I think Headstrong should level. Um, actually, that might be a tad low. Oh, and Sandy is going to be finding uh the Paris as well. So hope it jumped. That's unfortunate. Still connected, though it's There's still plenty of okay on the XP, so it's more or less yeah. a non-issue. Yeah, honestly, at that point, you're way more worried about the catch rate than yeah. the experience. It's still a good catch rate, though. Oh yeah, it's like probably seventy. Mm -hmm. A glowing then... geo, dude. Excellent. All these got good Juju cycles. I can't imagine. Oh, Juju's in the way. Etiquette still hits it. I feel like Etiquette could have gone around the that left side and up. He could have gone up the left side and then up around the top. But by that point, it was already moving up, so. Yeah, but Judy's moved slow. Oh, another Clefairy. Pausing again. Did anyone get the double moon? No, I don't think so. I didn't think so. I didn't see it. Um, let's see if they have Evo's marked. Let's see. Um, Etiquette has Needle King marked. Um, yeah, Needle King strats are good. Headstrong has Wiggly marked, and Sandy just Needle King, so I don't think so. So Headstrong might need a route? Four? Yeah, I think Headstrong will need a route for encounter for sure. Just get Ekans. Simply just have a chance to spawn right now. Okay, Normally, so I think... what you want to be at, just to guarantee the EXP is fine, is about third of the way up. Third or, yeah, about a third of the way up. Just... At 15. Let's see. So, I assume Sandy could just one shot this. Nope. Oh, avoided the hypnosis. Nice. Imagine not one shotting the thousand. That's wrong, did it. The only way that happens on EV is if you're a min attack, which unfortunately, Headstrong is. Oh, didn't even get the Magnemite! <laughs> this EV yeah, is not, not good. <laughs> no, there's been zero AVs into the attack at all. Hedgehog's lost like three turns to attack the attack being bad already. That's why you don't see the unfortunate thing of not getting any AVs in Twist that. <sighs> Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. I guess we didn't surrender now. <laughs>
Go coffee. Does coffee usually live? <laughs> yeah. Uh, like he's in range at 15. Unless you're plus attack at 15. Well, we well we know we know headshots coffee. It's gonna live. I did not see the special attack stats on that evening. I don't know. I did not see. I'll that. check at 15. Well, at 17. I have no idea what Sandy's uh, Pika stats are outside of overleveled, so don't worry. Well, I wonder if Sandy should be able. Yeah, Sandy will definitely be able to get the coughing range. Yeah, which uh, is harder to hit than Starmie, so. See, if I'm level 15, I always go the coughing first because it can poison you. And if you get the kill, great. If you don't, it's fine. Mm -hmm. No weapons for etiquette. Snack? No, no weapons for headstrong. So they each have 13 coming Is out she of. 15? Yeah, she had 15 during just okay. a day. I thought it was fine. That was close. One shot the coughing, easy. Yep. Obviously, plus special attack, level 17. Obviously, gonna one shot. Nice critical hit on the Oddish. <laughs> okay, EV had. Wait, 35 wait, wait. attack, 36 special attack, 35 speed. That sounds about min special attack, maybe one or two AVs if that. 30 special attack for headshot. 36 special attack is pretty decent. 30 special attack for headstrong? Uh, 33 for headstrong. Well, that's attack. Yeah, so it looks like Ed has had two AVs. Psyduck. Rattata Spiro. No main. Ed is getting all the special attack AVs. That was a shocking That is definitely high. an EV for Headstrong. Jeez. Okay, let's see what. Plus special attack, and you have 30 AVs. Like 30. No, no, no. Headstrong's oh. neutral. Headstrong's neutral. It's. 44. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. You're right. You're right. Special attack. Headstrong's neutral. It's Sandy that was the. Headstrong just had the mischievous characteristic, but that's doing nothing. Well, Sandy can probably hit the wheezing ranges and hide out if they choose to do old strats. Um, I did not catch uh, Sandy's attack stat, and... I'm just gonna catch it on the level up. Yeah, being on one side or the other of that does make the difference if I recall my ranges correctly. Ooh. You're telling me Sandy is only 36 to 38 attack at level 17 on a neutral Pikachu? Possible. That's garbage. Well, we'll see what happens here. I feel like my... Oh, well, we're gonna see what the attack is. 40. Oh, well, okay. It, okay, it was 38, so... This is awful. This is... Well, Sandy will get a will get a level up from Misty plus Bridge to guarantee the coughing range, but not having 42 attack at 18 is pretty bad. <laughs> this Pikachu stinks, even though it's plus special attack. Because with this Pikachu, you can't even, you can't, you're not going to be able to skip. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't even know how likely this is on any percent, but you're not going to be able, you can't skip the X attack on Sophia. Um, yeah, it has to be like min attack. Mm -hmm. None of these three runners getting very good AVs into the attack. 
Yeah, Strong's had a really bad AVs. It looks like everything's gone to defense and spit off an HP. Now we have yeah, Headstrong's AVs are really bad. So, so I had so the my stack Pikachu yesterday, right? Uh, I had forty one attack at eighteen. It's like this this Pikachu's stack. I mean, the Pikachu is fine. It, it, the, the attack will, like... It, the attack's just not good enough to, like, skip stuff, but... The attack is fine to do normal stuff. Yo, crit the Oddish. That is really nice, actually. Can't get poisoned, etc. That's really nice. Not... Well, okay, double kicking doesn't matter. You can zip these up at UV at times. I feel like... Imagine. I feel like at 18 or 19, you should always you can always zip these up. Imagine not having coverage. But I mean, we have coverage. No, you have coverage in the form of other pokes. So, but uh, could it could it could it could it zip these out the EV and then? Since 18 could just the headbutt, this Venonat, and the Psyduck. Uh, I don't know if that's actually faster because you you skip the, the crit dialogue, but you have to scroll down to hit headbutt. Although in, in Psyduck's case, you skip the super effective text and and the uh, and the crit text. Um, but yeah, if you're level 18 and not minus attack, you can. Always headbutt then on that inside up, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if uh, Sandy gets wrecked by the Sandshrew. Either with like Sand Attack, or Sandy will just go safe and do Oddish Strats. Alright. Will Edda get the fake out? Will Edda lose the lead to getting faked out and the Headstrong doesn't? Let's see. No, no fake no out. Thirty nine forty, where the attack and no fake attack out for coming. headstrong either. Poison sting, poison rip. Has to heal. Is it Man, not worth just two seeing that fight and absorbing? You can. Uh, that's a, I said. That's the same spell. Did Headstrong get fake out? I, I was looking at Sandy. No. Edda and Headstrong dodged it. Well, so, so the bridge is good besides Sandshu for Sandy because they got poison, but they crit the Oddish and then they can one shot the coughing. So, um, this bridge is fine. Besides the one thing. Zippy Zap. Okay. Right, she. Zip Zippy Zap. What people do now? Question. I don't know. This is a legitimate question. I I just headbutt. But once again, I don't know if it's like. I faster think to see the... is probably the play. Well, because you see the crit text compared to not, but then you're comparing scrolling down to headbutt to not. Um, yeah, but then, I mean, at the same time, you're also dodging the priority fake well, out. Fake out beats it. Oh, well, fake, out 
Fake out fake plus, plus two, isn't it? No, fake out plus three. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a Meowth on etiquette screen. Way too far. <laughs> Not doing Nox Gift. Boo. Boo! Meowth and Venno on the headstrong. Okay. Okay. Going for both. That's actually really good. Hopefully, Edda doesn't later regret not going for that. I mean, the Meowth was so far, I wouldn't regret. <laughs> yeah, probably not. That was probably way too... Not. This is way too far. Squirtle on Sandy screen? Question mark. Wrong water type. Nope. Wrong water type. Boo! Oh, Sandy could have made that cycle. Sandy could have made needed, that. Yes. Wouldn't have even needed Noxka. Could have just. Okay, I thought Sandy was about to hit that trainer. <laughs> that That's was... what I thought too. I was like, wait. That was a little. That was. That was a little... yikes. Yeah, the Meowth kind of ran away from Headstrong, but the Venonet also being there, like, helps and makes it a decent play. I don't know if it was the best play, but I think with both of them there, it's pretty... It's pretty, uh... So Edda wins in the ditch, Bill. No knocks get boo. Headstrong was even up there too. Close race so far. I'm wondering who's gonna pull if anyone pulls ahead uh with Route 910 Rock Tunnel. Oh I'm sure somebody will. Okay, will we see a Squirtle on etiquette screen on the way back? Heartbreak. That would be the well, worst time to get it. That would be a feel bad. I mean, is it really feel bad in any percent, though? Mm. It is kind of a hard catch. Okay, can we I see mean, in the it's top It's a feel left? bad if it would have gotten in the ball. If it doesn't, then yeah. Okay, Headshot 3840. Did I see for the attack and special attack? I, I definitely saw 38 attack. I thought it was 30... Oh, we just saw a Squirtle on Etiquette screen. I thought it was 34 special attack. It could have been. I'm pretty sure it was 38 I might have saw... I, I might, the 40 might have been the defense. Probably. Which 40 defense at this point is really high. Because all the AVs. Yeah. Like, all the AVs have gone into everything other than speed, attack, and special attack. They've gone into everything that you don't want it to go into. Nope, Volpex. Another Squirtle! Whoa, oh my gosh! can't believe it. Alright, will we see anybody get an Abra? Yeah, as far as level stats go, I know Pika like 15, 18 stats, and then I don't know Pika stats until 28. <laughs> what about you, Leggy? <laughs> How old do you know Pika stats? Um... It's gonna be interesting, like... The real question is, as we're coming up to the big Route 6 catching zone, um, mm -hmm. whether or not, you know, we see a bunch of catches or if people just wander on through um, without really catching much of anything, because I feel like this is one of the highest variance catching spots of the game. You mean you don't have Growlithe and Jigglies always appear on Route 6? I mean... I think the biggest variance <laughs> is Route 10. It, it, so Route 10, I, I always feel like I'm catching something. You know, well, a yeah, you have to. 
or like, you know, in, in the worst case, like a big Nito. But like with Route 6, you know, some days you catch a dog right away on Pika side and you're doing great. Eevee side, I feel like some days you see like nothing but Pidgeys for days. <laughs> and, and, you know, the one Psyduck to mix it up. You, you oh. mean you don't oh. get routed oh, yeah. with nothing but Raticates and Feroes? I mean, catch and well, but, but that's why that's why I have the repel at that point. Nice Pidgeotos on Etiquette screen. Love them. See, Love see what I mean? This is the Route 6 I was talking about. Yo, but we <laughs> got a Jigglypuff. Hey, there's a Jigglypuff. Okay, we got this something. is the nature of catching things, let's be honest. Any route can be like this. Yeah. Easy, every time. We've all seen Route 17s go really, really well, or really, really poorly. Yeah, and at a certain point, Route 17's just like, oh god, oh god, do I have to add Tentacool back to my tracker? Oh god, do I have to add Tentacool back to my tracker? Hey, I'm just get Tentacools. Just get tentacles that never move, so you can just silver raz them immediately, and then... Or they just attack immediately. You know, that is the real strategy. Oh, there's a Vulpix! His etiquette did not see it, or just doesn't want to go for it. And he dodges it back! <laughs> that was a uh, scuff pass. Uh, <laughs> Aspect was more... Aspect was more scuffed. So I feel like the better PB you have in this, rate, uh, in this run, the more room you have to pass those trainers, because if I had went for that pass, would not have hit it. Would have completely had to deal with the worst of the two fights. I I really don't think that pass was that scuffed, to be honest. That was going I, on an I, angle, what? So, like, I've seen a lot worse. You know, uh, according to T-Pat, Etiquette has that rehearsed and practiced and that is his strategy, and you know what? Yo, Abra! Yo! Let's go. And a rat of the way. And still catch it. Yeah. Um, catch. Like, I think if you catch this, you just deposit it, you don't worry about evo it and catch the Raticate later. Because, as I've learned recently, Raticate is worth just, like, an absolute pile of experience points. Can be. It, it, it kind of sucks that you caught the Rattata before you caught the Abra. Yeah. Just need to get Gra a Doggo. Oh, Vulpix for Headstrong. I mean... No Nanans. Oh, that's exciting. So what you can do on Abra, and I think this cycle would have worked out, is you can just throw it to the left and... Uh, just hit it. And Abra has good catch, catch rates, so mm -hmm. it's more likely to get in. So I just, now I just YOLO throw the Abra. Just throw yeah, the YOLO throwing the Abra is not all that bad. Oh, I didn't see what kind of SSAM etiquette got it. It was one turn, two turns, or zero turns. I didn't see. Okay, let's see Headstrongs. Okay, easy. Yeah, that looked a bit more like the traditional pass from Headstrong. Yep. Oh, chat's pointing out that he's <laughs> one catch away from getting Thunderbolt. Which, you know, at that point, I don't even think you need the dog, you just do one C strats. Well, here's Jiggly. Just throw. That was, I guess that barely missed the circle, somehow. Yeah, that was... That was rude, game. That was rude. Um, Etiquette here taking out Boat Rival should be fairly straightforward. Pikachu still gets the Thunderbolt level. 56. I, I don't know, like I said, I, I don't know attack and special attack until 20, and then I'm like, this is fine, or this is not fine. Yeah, I'll go pull up the notes on Pika, 
see, see how we're looking for uh, the next what? section. Well, I mean, we're fine. Oh, oh, there's a growl. Doggo! Oh, 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 oh to play no. with the Pikachu. <laughs> That was, what, 56 special attack on the Pika? I did not see the... Okay, so Headstrong will shortly be coming in on the Rival 3 fight. I'm gonna pay attention to Headstrong's in enter here. Headstrong didn't have any turns. All three with a clean route six pass. Let's see if they get the returns. Because all three of these rudders uh, have not hit any optional traders yet, which is, you know, expected, but still always impressive to see in motion. Now he's commenting curse them. Let's not have anybody hit any optionals, please. Or, you know, if people do hit optionals, may they be the not bad ones. Not bad ones like <laughs> Alexa, you mean? What do you need 14 attacks? What do you need 14 attacks? fine. Oh, sorry, what was the question? So you need about 14 X attacks? Okay. I feel like that's higher than that. It might be, but, you know, you're usually in there, and if you're... Oh, easy pass. To be honest, that kind of looks sketchy. Yeah. If, if, if you're... It always looks sketchy. Yeah. On Pika, if you're thinking about, like, various strategies, uh, there are a number of different ways you can uh, actually buy your X items there. Ooh, Sandy keeping the Abra... I had a low catch count, but is absolutely flying. You can not see all picks. Oh, there's yeah. the Abra. Oh, that's the worst. Rip. If that was AOP, you go back for it. But not in oh, 1,000%. Not in any percent. I missed Sandy's enter too. Dang it. It'd be so cool if you could actually hit that going right to the fence and just hit it through the fence. That'd be amazing. Why can't I throw a Pokeball over a fence? It's only, you know, like waist high. Right? Guard specs. Yeah, like, I, I'm always so mad when I see stuff in Route 5 that I want, or that I didn't catch on the way down. 1C strats from Sandy. Let's go. Where are the Persians? Why aren't people riding Persians? They're so slow. Imagine being... Imagine walking in the second and not having a right hook on already. Well, why didn't a headshot catch five me out? Easy Did pass. Did we see any Meowths on Route 6? Uh, Headstrong has one. You can't see Meowths on Route 6. Route 25. Exactly. Yeah. We saw one on Route 25. You see it on 25, yeah. Yeah. 24 and 25 both, but... Mm -hmm. Who goes to 24? Nobody? Yeah, Unless exactly. you're chaining Meowth, nobody? <laughs> Are you still just go to 25 and then just repel? Right. Uh, really what we should see is... I usually do that unless I still don't get anything and then I'll just backtrack to 26, 24. Eevee 2 sees this now? 
Headstrong also with the Abra on the wrong side of the fence. Oh, uh, rip. Feels bad. No, if three Meow spawn, that's not that bad. I still don't know that that's worth your what, time, because that's just a lot more catches. Yeah, Wait, like... Really tough? In the universe... If you're an AOP, whatever. absolutely go for it at that point, but in a 90% run, don't. Yeah, like, in a universe where you... Let's say you just completely don't see Rhyhorn oh. or Ponyta, I'm still not sure this makes up for it. Double Spiros. Double Burb. And double Nidoran females. At least that's two pokes that he needs. Yeah. And like... In the worst case, that's uh, five more for the pool. Because you can just evolve a girl. With the Moonstone. 21. Not teaching Swift. So here's the thing. If you teach Swift, suddenly Sand Attack is much less of an issue. A lot of people, <laughs> Galaxy Brain Strats. Oh, I'm um, lucky. Okay, Sandy's coming up on the skip. Should be easy peasy, one squeezy. Yeah, yeah queen. Easy. Three is a bird. And more importantly, manage to, manages to dodge the rat. See, what else is out of getting? Nice route 10 spawns. <laughs> the the spear of peel flew away. Oh, crap! Okay. The crab so, is good. Okay, so I think Etiquette wants to do Nido, Nido, Nido King strats, but that's the one Pokemon that has a spot, so. <laughs> right. Unless it spawns. Yeah, no, I, this is just gonna be a leave. Look, Nido Queen strats are a thing. Yeah, but not on Eevee. Fair. We use the Nido King because it has poison jab, so we can immediately just guarantee the Oko on the Clefairy. Oh, I know. Rather than dealing uh, with Metronome. I'm, I'm just saying, there's that Hypno. Wait, did Edit just pass up one rat for the Glowing Rat? Which is fair, but I was just wondering. I, I think out. the other one spawned behind as he was already going for that, but yeah, I think the Glowing Rat. Yeah. I'm wondering how Etiquette feels about Etta needs these catches for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, he definitely needs the catches. I'm just thinking about, like, his experience routing. Because I don't know. Uh, how he's already 24. It. He's fine on EXP. I'm not worried about that. Mm hmm. Nidorino on Headstrong. All right. Literally just on. This will, we'll see if she goes for the Nidorino instead of the male Nido. Not a good idea. It's fine. Yeah, because the big problem with uh, Nidorino is that it doesn't come with Poison Jab, so you have to start using Thrash instead. Yo. Wait, did Headstrong get double Moonstone? I wasn't paying attention when Headstrong was uh, Headstrong also has Nido King marked right yeah, now. Yeah, Headstrong might have gotten the double Nido. Like double Moon. I didn't catch it. Or maybe just evolved the Wigglytuff and hasn't gone back and unmarked the Nido King yet. No, the new thing I didn't see marked before. I didn't oh. either. Okay. I, guess I, I, I didn't pay attention to that. I saw the Lucio evolution, but I yeah, did I, not I, see I the count. It. 
We'll find out. Yep. Okay, Sandy's Sandy's battles are fine, standard, mm -hmm. which is nice. Okay. Oh, those are better than Nidorino, yeah. Ooh, unlucky. All right, nice second throw. Uh, etiquette going for uh, the rocket fight. Uh, we'll see whether or not he's decided that enough is enough and he wants to move on to Rock Tunnel, or if he's going to go back. He has unmarked the Nidoran mail, so I think this is just... Uh, pushing on forward rather than using this for a respawn. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, twenty one coming out well, off route ten. They all need up. The worst. <laughs> the small one right after. <laughs> Amazing. That's the worst. Still hit it. Easy. Oh. It has good catch rate, so it should get in. And mm -hmm. I don't think it's blowing, so it's not like you're really missing XP. Yeah. Sandy's not depositing Growlithe or Kadabra. Interesting. Or Oddish. Guess they're just gonna wait catch one thing. You could just yeah. one see in the man. Let's see how oh, mid arena. I would catch that because it's low. well, it doesn't need levels right now, so never mind. Yeah. I, I could have seen an argument to uh, as you were all mentioning, do the deposit while they were already in the menu, you know, but goes for a quick and easy Spiro catch and maybe there's one more Evo that Sandy's got. Maybe I missed the deposits. No, I didn't. So could deposit now. Here's the female. Here's the deposit. Catch the Nidorina, it's glowing! Do it! It's glowing! Boo. Boo. Yeah, the real question is whether or not Sandy decides to go for the Nidorino. Um, ah, oh, the troll attack. And Headstrong spawns or not. I think Etiquette had the best Route 10. These other two. Yeah, I guess had a decent Route 10. I guess Headstrong's is okay. Yeah, all of these definitely felt a little rough. But yeah, I, I do think Etiquette had the uh, best go of it overall. Edis was fine. I wouldn't yeah, even say it was fine. rough. He just got everything yeah. except for the male Nito, which is perfectly fine because Krabby makes up for it. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Is this gonna level up the ramp female? Oh, running away. Okay, Sandy going for, for the big boy. Uh, double greats is like 80%, I think, without a Raz or something. Yeah, and at that point, I think Raz just straight up guarantees. But 88. I don't think it's worth waiting the five seconds. Now, will anyone see Rare Char? So, no, but we do see Kanga. That's my bet. I mean, obviously we see Kanga, we're gonna fight one. Yes, but this isn't uh, Coliseum, we can't steal the Kanga's gun. Yeah, oh, there's a Krabby. Steal it. That would be amazing. We could just steal it. AOP would be so much better. Right. <laughs> Come on, Game Freak, give us the snag machine back. Yeah, without without razzing the Nidorino, it's like a ninety percent catch. So mm -hmm. probably this. As long as you get the X. Also gets the Cuba. Nice. Okay, so Edit just needs Rhyhorn, Graveler, and Zub, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're gonna All see. All three of which are very likely. I assume we're just gonna see. Well, okay. So last time, if I recall correctly, last time this happened, Sandy went back up and then caught a Nidoran male, and then in, in their last race, if I recall. Maybe that was someone else. But 
And okay. if it spawns behind, that's a good ploy. To just do Nido Queen strat. Yeah. Of note, Headstrong taking the alternate route uh, into Rock Tunnel, uh, going through the cut bush and grabbing the Great Balls. Um, you know, nice little bit of backup if you're feeling like your quantity isn't good enough. Is the mid rare male gonna evolve? Don't let it evolve, Headstrong. You already have a Nidorito. Yeah, no, it's it's one of those things where it's like, if you really want to use poison jab strats, um, I guess I don't think that's worth it, but like No, at this yes. point it's not, because you've already lost the time on the Evo. Yeah. Wait. You two seek this can you fight? I... You can. I've never seen X back on that fight. Interesting, I like it. Okay. X back is... helping hand bouncy bubble. Wait, wait, wait. What is Sandy? Okay, so Sandy's not doing poison jab strats? This thing doesn't have poison jab. Correct. You teach it thrash as the backup. Is that better than just doing Needle Queen strats? I believe so, but... Uh, I have no idea. Chat, chat saying no. Um... Like, a lot of it... I feel like you should... Yeah, because I have no idea how... Like, obviously, optimal is Poison Jab. Yeah, I don't know. Crabby's already at 27 for Etta. Jeez. Wow. EXP is not an issue here. <laughs> Yeah, Sandy's Pikachu is not good enough to use Pikachu on the on the Kanga. Kanga's calling, glowing too. Etiquette, boo! <laughs> not going for it, boo! Smart play, actually. Don't go for it. No, it's fine. <laughs> it gets more XP, which he, he totally need needs. The EXP though. I know. I know. Wait, is this our first Rhyhorn? This is the first right horn, yes. All right, first of three. Let's go, come on. I don't want to see the memes. And it has everything except for Zub. Holy crap, that was huge. Jeez. What's that, super it... size for Headstrong? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if it was, but it helps Headstrong's XP a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, maybe not heat. Maybe not ultra heat big, but you know. It was it was glowing at least. I don't think it was super sized. I don't think so. Oh, hey, glowing right. The levels, no, probably not. Yeah, looking at etiquette's tracker, uh, he's got 50 Pokemon planned. Uh, really needs that Zubat. But other than that, uh, is done catching things in tunnel. Uh, both of our other runners had 54 planned, so there is room to miss a catch or two along the way. Um, Headstrong still needs Zub uh, and Rhyhorn, but that's it. And obviously, Sandy only just got into tunnel. Nope, that's a graveler. Headstrong doesn't need that. No, Edda did not sell the fossil. Headstrong did. Oh, there's a Rhyhorn. Yo! Love to see it. Yeah, Edda does have that option available. Okay, will Sandy get the Rhyhorn? 
Uh, was that ground wind that spawned, or was that a ride on? I have no uh, idea. Nice. Oh, that's a Graveler. Nice spawn. But Sandy. If Sandy all. does not see Rhyhorn, honestly, uh, they, they would be the one that least, Ooh, just least impacted by it. Um, because you can just grab the Firestone, get Arcanine right away, and use that as your ride Pokemon instead of Rhyhorn. Okay, so Headstrong did get the double. Um, is Headstrong doing Thrash Trats? Might be. Because Headstrong definitely... Definitely... Didn't... Definitely caught... This is... Unless... I don't think Headstrong evolved the... Uh... Yeah, let's, let's see what Headstrong does here. Over Buzzy Buzz, yes, because you don't need Buzzy Buzz anymore. Okay. Uh, Headstrong declines to teach Thrash to the Ditto King. So, looks looks like uh, not uh, going for Thrash strats. I don't uh, think Headstrong... Yeah, double so hard. until the Pidgeotto still sheep. It's fine. It's still... The Neo King's still in the party. So unless I missed the 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 okay. Nidoran male evolving into Nidorino, then Yeah. Uh chat chat saying you don't thrash anything on Eevee version. So Yeah, yeah but why but why have Needle King when you don't have poison java in your party stuff? We'll find out. We're going on an adventure together, friends. Well, I don't know if Headstrong knows no that. Bat that, um. That Nidorino doesn't come with Poison Jab, yeah. or or if the Nidoran male evolves and I just missed it. Yeah, this could be any I mean, number of outcomes. Um, either way, it's going to be exciting because, you know, either uh, Headstrong has. You, you know, either. Headstrong's got Poison Jab and everything's fine, or Headstrong knows something we here in the booth don't, and we get to learn something cool and awesome for EV strats. No oh, nice Onyx dodge. That Onyx was, like, perfect. Oh, right? That was an ambush if I ever saw one. There's a Zooms. That's, like... Yeah. Power Zubat uh, would actually be really useful, yes. Yeah, um, the other thing is he doesn't have uh Vulpix. So if he sees Vulpix on Route 7, oh, oh almost certainly grab it. Yeah. Like, um, I think on this one he probably goes through the Route 8 bush, grabs the Firestone, and Vulpix if it's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Etiquette's at the point of the run where he's starting to, like, really desperately think about backup strats and where to catch backup Pokemon. Uh, the heads-up play earlier to not sell the fossil, go for the PP up, is a good conservative play for a race setting, just in case situations yes. like this I happen. Just... I was wondering why he picked up the PP up, but that was why. Yeah, because they both sell for 5k. Yeah. What you should do is say is not pick up the PP up and just get lucky and pick up a nugget in the as a as a uh, un random underground item, obviously. Yeah. Well, I mean, at that point, just simply have the best RNG and not worry about anything anyway. Hundred uh, percent pump rate. Let's go. Picking up the X ten. Yeah, All everyone right. has rifles now. Yeah, all three runners getting Rhyhorn, that is definitely a relief for every single person in this race. So, let's see. Yeah, so, Etiquette's also really hoping for a Vulpix. Yeah, Vulpix would be really good, Aber would be really good. 
I mean, could decide to get the rare Kiji encounter seven. Porygon and catch the Porygon instead of get the gift. Yeah. No, no, that's slower. <laughs> <laughs> it's slower. That sounds like something you would endorse, though. Come on, Joker. I wouldn't do it. Fifty-eight okay. attack. He's lying. He would totally do it. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> There's stuff I would do, like Cadaver Hideout, but I would not... Did not do it. A Helping Hand is... Slot 3? Oh, gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely moves things around, and... Oh, okay, so... So hopefully... Hopefully... Uh... Etiquette doesn't have power issues. <laughs> Yeah, that would... Th hope not. Well, let's not even worry about tower issues. Let's see what happens here with the Clefairy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Sheep. Hashtag blame Teapot. Just have, just have your cell phone cam ready to record. <laughs> and you could play Undocked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, power, not tower, Leggy. Ah, uh, yes. But, you know, like we were talking about, with good luck, <laughs> the the weather outside will just simply not be an issue for now. But obviously, you know, if it does happen, uh, fingers crossed. Hey. Will etiquette. Yo, team modest. Save. Do we do we think do we think do we think etiquette will teach will remember to sync mods? I hope. Oh, more onyxes! All these onyxes getting in Sandy's way. And that's the literal worst spot for it too. Yeah, that's where you just. If you can, you just. Well, this is the end. But oh, nine tails! Yeah. One percent nine tails on screen. Come on, etiquette! Oh, there's a. Okay. Yeah, you saw the Vulpix. Why are you stealing the baby from the parent? Catch the Nine Tails. Do like, it. The, the Nine Do Tails it. was clearly protecting the Vulpix there. Catch the Nine Tails. You've double ultras. Do it. But, yeah. So one percent. Um, on that route, you can find one percent Nine Tails slash Arcanine or one percent. Uh, <laughs> 1% Kadabra, and then, and then, uh, yeah. Etik Etiquette didn't even pick up the Route 7, 8 Firestone. He went around. So, he could just skip Mansion Firestone by catching the Ninetales right now. It's like Double Ultras and Raz is like 80-something percent. Come on, do it! Do it! No! <laughs> boo! Boo! Boo this man! Boo! Technically correct, but disappointing nonetheless. It is disappointing, but in a race setting, I get it. I wasn't expecting yeah. it anyway. It's fine. But yeah, no, okay. like, it, it, it's the Wait. right call. I'm mad about it, but we all know <laughs> it's the right call. And a kid just tried to teach Buzzy Buzz twice, finally trying to learn <laughs> Blitz Blow. Let's go. He's so used to always... <laughs> nice, Apparently nice. you can relearn Buzzy Buzz here. I did not know that. Apparently every guy has every move. Well, that's false, because the Cerulean guy doesn't have Batty Bad in Pussy Club. Oh. Or, or at least... Batty they, Bad the worst move. Fall down. Batty Bad the best named move. Don't disagree, but it's a terrible move nonetheless. I'm not gonna argue with that one. Okay, going into hideout, the fun, such a fun part of the run. You can talk about all the EV strats, Razor, because I know I only know old strats. EV strats is fun. This is probably just straight double edge. 
funny sense. Eevee's fine. Oh, Rhyhorn Strats, okay. Okay. Oh, goes back. We're in the etiquette yeah, makes things minor oblige. minor menuing mistakes moments. Yeah. It's fine though. You can double edge brick break that if you have chop second controller, but X attack double edge works. Mm -hmm. Etiquette, of course. Taking care of the hardest trick of the run and remembering to press the switch behind the poster. <laughs> what? Um, oh, I, never mind. Now this is going to be X attack double edge kill the hypno. Moist and easy. That's too tanky. I want to boycott it. Okay, Headstrong just double edges the fairy, so we're gonna see. Nice Wait, will one we shot. See... Yeah, both Wait, will we see and Hedda Hedda both have both got double edge early. Does Thrash kill uh, the fairy in one shot? I I am unsure. I guess I can't even talk about the Pika stress because I don't know anything about Thrash. Do you yeah, know anything? Uh, I I don't. Uh, okay. friends, we're on a magical journey together. Um, like, I know enough about Nitto Queen strats, but I don't know a I don't know much about the Nidorina Thrash backup. Well, maybe we see Metronome. Phoenix, he doesn't need a lot of X attacks from, the, from here on out. I guess Thrash just kills, I'm assuming, I guess. I'm hoping. Oh, no, it does not. Oh, Tail Whip. No one cares. Okay. So, we got we got our we got our moment of, you know, fear you from Cool Fairy. No, he should be fine with special attack that he can just... Um, let's see. So this spinner, if you if you hug the bottom wall, I'm pretty sure she can't see you if she's looking down. If you just hug the bottom wall. But yeah, just the do duo and J and J two is really Ooh, all huh. he needs. Well, the blue realize... fight. Sorry, not the J and J two blue fight. I didn't realize you could dodge the gambler uh, to the north. So yeah, this is probably just. Well, half time he's looking more. Like, like draw on. So you have to make sure yeah, he's not looking. You do need one, yes. Headstrong is doing 1C strats on this Raticate. I assume you just double edge and kill. Such poison, unfortunate. Is that 10%? I think that's 10%, right? Yes. Dang, Headstrong already has Machoke. <laughs> That's some XP. Etta also already has Kingler, so... Etta and Headstrong have really good EXP. Oh, Sandy got... All our runners got Modest, woo. Let's go, let's go. We need to run on a Quiet Star? Woo. Who would, who would run on a Quiet Star? Yeah, Joker, who? Who? Yeah, what? I don't, I don't, I don't know who. <laughs> I don't know, you know, challenge run win. You know, it's just to add to my world records, right? So now I have Quiet Star World Record, <laughs> which is totally <laughs> an accomplishment. To totally an accomplishment. It's the best world record. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Joker petitioning to have that as a world record. <laughs> well, 
I, th I think the rule is, you know, if you get like two or three more people to run it, you can get it on the leaderboards. Don't worry, don't worry, next time, we're, I'm gonna sink Adamant, instead of Modest. Okay, Adikit picking up Hyper Potions. Nice safety strat, especially for, like, Archer. <laughs> Archer decides to crit Thunderbolt you. Also, I think he's... Oh, he's just using it here because he's low on supers. So... That's hopefully... Smart boy. Hopefully bad stuff doesn't happen. The super wouldn't have healed him all the way up anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So going for the Hyper there and using it immediately is smart. Oh, so you just thrash 1C this Needle King too? With this Hypno? I guess? Oh, yes, it is a 1C. Um... Isn't this the... Is that the faster way or the slower way? Uh, it looks like Sandy just forgot to uh, summon the second player. Okay. Wait, did Etiquette just go? Is that the fast way through the puzzle, or is that the slower way? I know you can like both walk. The same. It's the same speed. Okay. It's just preference, however you want to go through it. Ooh, J J fight. Hopefully, hopefully this goes fine. Mm hmm. Uh, what's Etiquette's partner partner Pokemon right now? Um, a rival. A rival. Okay. A rival. My bet is we see the plus two drill run on the R book. <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay. Let's see. And X special. Yep. Nice crunch on the on the right one. Is this like the old strats? This seems old strats, right? This is... this is normal. This is normal strats. This yep. strong is 2 seeing this, right? Good special attack. It's a nice, easy, safe 3 turn. Has a chance to... had a chance to 2 turn and didn't get it. Poison... Yep. only one antidote left. Yeah. A little spicy. Do you one-shot the we the archer's wheezing with Eevee? You can, depending on what your special attack is. Well, hopefully... Okay, so Sandy's going for Rhyhorn strats, I guess? Yeah. I'm actually a fan of this. Um, oh, never cause... mind. Oh, okay. Never mind. Because, like, Reinhardt strats on uh, the J&J fight here are actually cracked. Well, except except that Rhyhorn, what level was the Rhyhorn? Because this is plus special attack Pikachu, so I'm fairly confident that this Pikachu will return with both Jesse and James. Mm -hmm. um, so, it'd be basically like Rhyhorn. I mean, either's fine. Mm -hmm. But, like, if Rhyhorn's not 25, it would probably just be... Yeah, okay, yeah, that's still a 24 Rhyhorn. I thought, for some reason, I thought I thought everyone's XP was good enough that it was, like, 26 already. Yeah. Well, he caught, or they caught it last. Sandy caught it last, right? Okay, that or, makes sense. I think they, I think it was one of their last. I could be wrong. But obviously, they didn't get much much XP on it. Rhyhorn yeah. is dead. Did that, did I get, get po poisoned by the reason? I don't know. It got double targeted. But it really doesn't matter. Well, Etiquette just has one antidote left, so if he got poisoned, he would have no antidotes for the last J and J. Do you really need antidotes for the last J and J? Because honestly, at that point, I'm just healing through, so I don't have to worry about getting repoisoned. Yep. You just heal through. You don't need a antidote at all. No, oh, yeah, I guess you don't. Shoutouts to Etiquette do tilting the Machoke forward. Okay. 
You gonna see boom strats? No. No boom strats. Boom strats is actually slower. Okay, is doing right horn strats. Is doing right horn strats. Okay. I mean, I I haven't I haven't seen the Pikachu special attack, so maybe it's not as good as I think. But I, I feel like this Pikachu should easily hit yeah. all the reason. So I feel like I feel like this would be a three turn no matter what. So I guess we'll see. Maybe the Rhyhorn can two turn. Yeah, you'd also still want to like. You, you know, if you're doing uh, the old uh, Pika strats for JJ, you still need to go and like find a Pokemon to sacrifice, and that's a box menu, and it might just be faster even if your Rhyhorn's bad. That's fair. Like I said, well, you know, I, I run AOP, so I like. Yeah. Usually never have a Rhyhorn, so. That's fair. Wonder if Etiquette will pick up the safety max revive. I like it for safety. Good. But. It's. Oh, safety, yep. Safety oh. max revive. Yeah, the, the real question is. Um, where our runners get the rest of their uh, Ultra Balls? I would be. I wouldn't be surprised to see Etiquette going for both packs of them. Uh, given the Probably. amount of catching he has left to do. Um, for our other two runners, I could see them going either way on one or the other. Maybe both if they're not feeling confident. But at the very least... I, I don't think... I think the Rocket Ultra Balls are always on the table in a race setting. Just for the extra safety. Edda does just have seven catches so it's not too bad. Yeah. So having, you know, ten Ultra Balls to play with rather than than eight is, you know, good for race Wait, safety. He still needs one more thing. No. 49 plan. Yes, 51. Oh. No? It says 49. 49. Plan. It says 49. 100% says 49. Sandy has 52 planned, and Headstrong has 54. So, Etiquette needs um, Wigglywoo or Magmar or Chansey. Who oh. wants Mansion Glowing Chansey, where Etiquette will lose 20 minutes to Love Walk? So, here's the other thought. Um, either you skip the Firestone, or evolving uh, to Pidgeot, and you uh go get Helix, because that would oh, be... Oh, he does have Helix. Smart. Oh, he does have Helix. He does have... He, he has it in his pocket, he just doesn't have it marked yet. Yeah. Um, And then, of course, you know, there's always the thing we don't want to see, which is Tentacool, which, you know... I would catch... I would catch Tentacool over getting the fossil. Yeah, I would agree. So... Etiquette does still have a couple of options. Uh, some of it's going to uh, really depend on the next two sections. Do we see a Ghastly? How does Route 17 look? And at that point, we're starting to really wonder about how much he needs to panic. Okay. In the meantime, both of our other runners on Archer. And a picked up dome. Oh, gross. Praise Helix. Yeah, pray, you praise Helix by seeing in the cutscene. Duh. Every so often, we, we need to Did I just see double edge on... Heresy. Yo, nice double oh, edge on the potter. Good. Double edge. I, I, I have that happen a couple times when it just eats the input. Mm -hmm. Helping hand. Yes, I'm giving me the healthy hand now. Mm. 
decent Chandler cycle there. Wait, Too Tower well. Cubone! <laughs> Glowing! Too bad. Too bad. Should have not lowered the tower. You would have already had Zub and Gold, like, ghastly. Lowering tower is bad idea. You see less Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I don't actually, but you know. I just like luring tower. Um, like, what's the minimum level you'll see uh, ghastly at if you don't lure? Uh, min level, I think, is twenty six or twenty seven. Okay, so if you don't lure, you're still guaranteed to get the one level Evo. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The highest level without being lured is 32. Mm -hmm. Okay, will any of our runners see a shiny Snorlax today? Uh -huh. You know, maybe to fix the catch count, etiquette should catch the Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't finish it. <laughs> Just pull Matt and get the. Um. Oh, hey, here's the gas lead. Did etiquette? I don't think etiquette got, or I don't think Hetron got the hideout ultra. Um, I was not paying attention, unfortunately. Um, but Etiquette did wind up getting all 13 Ultra Balls. Wow. That was... Because... Unlike. There we go. That was, was Ghastly being Ghastly. Got yeah, wrong. Like, what a Ghastly catch. No, that was cringe. That shouldn't have broken out. It's Ghastly being Ghastly. It does that. Okay, let's see if Sandy, uh... Sandy being bold and brave and not going for the extra ultras. No. Nope. I mean, there's not really any hard catches that Sandy has to do. Yeah, and they only have to do, what, six of them at this point? Like, Ponyta, Doduo, Grimer, Psyduck are free. Ghastly sh should be free, but you just saw etiquettes. And then Staryu can be fine. It's fine. Yeah. So, didn't need, didn't need it. Yep. But yeah, all Planning of our runners, tenta. well within spitting distance of each other, you know, on various stages of going up the Pokemon Tower. Oh, well, there's a gas lead for Headstrong at the bottom. I, okay, saw it. Getting saw it and goes for it, yeah. Yeah. 37 pokes compared to Etika's 31. She's got they're, a good they're really head count right now. Etta's is kind of scuffed. Okay, let's see if Hedgehog gets a cringe breakout. Double targets into the right horn. All right. Okay, I have. To I have to know, was that actually a rage on the Arbok, or was that expected? Probably ex I would say expected. That mm -hmm. You have to have really good special attack to be able to one-shot that second Arbok. Mm -hmm. See if Sandy can get a Ghastly. I feel like going up is slower, right? I feel like going down is faster. Yeah, oh, Ghastly! If you're trying to wait for a Ghastly to spawn anyway, taking a little bit of extra time just to give the game more options to actually spawn something doesn't make... Oh, and it moved at the last second, oh, Rude. Rude. Oh. Cringe Chandler cycles for Headstrong. Unlucky. Ugh. 
doesn't waste that much time. Mm -hmm. But still. All right, Route 17 time. This is going to oh, be. Oh, nice, too bad. Etiquette could use that. Okay, I I prefer going down from the bottom on that skip because the Chandler definitely can't see you as long as you're hugging the wall and she doesn't spin down. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, either way is fine. Although you just have to be careful coming from the top. Because she can see you, and you can't get hit. Okay, let's see. Will Etiquette get Route 16 Pokemon if they spawn? I assume, yes? If I get Pidgey spawns, probably. Does, do does Doduo know? It knows Drill Pet, right? Yeah. At 36? So I wonder if we'll catch this. Also, I just looked at the numbers. Uh, getting the one shot on the wheezing for oh, Sandy crazy. is guaranteed. Uh, their oh, Tower Q Bone! Just good enough. Same spot as Etiquette's. It was same spot. It's, same, it's like basically the same spot as, as Etiquette's. What the heck? Well, everyone getting the tower cube on when they don't even need it. Uh, okay, we're back. We're fine. Well, what's going on with the track? I think we're having some tracker issues. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm just having them. Okay. Yeah, pop out uh, for a second, but that was it. Yeah. Okay, going for the. Finding Doduo right away. Uh, we'll see how uh, Headstrong's Jesse James fight goes. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh! Oh! Clutch! That was so clutch! <laughs> the power of love, baby! Oh, that was so clutch! Can still get double targeted, though. Oh, wait. We... Oh. Oh. Okay. I can double target into the Eevee. Oh, uh, oh, I'm having so feelings right now. <laughs> okay, I, I assume Headstrong will do early shop because one super potion for Archer is uh, sketch. Is Monka. Yeah. It's so bad. Yes, Archer 2 is so bad, I agree. Oh, going all the way back up because he really needs this Pidgey. Kind of where etiquette is, kind of have to go all the way back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you needed the bird. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of the part where. Oh, have y'all looked at etiquette's tracker? Oh, uh, well, it's going in and out. So it is going in and out. Yeah. Uh, because right now forty-five minutes. There was a Magmar uh, highlighted. Well, I mean... Okay, I can't tell anything right now. I don't know. I'm seeing zeros for all of them right now. That is fair, that is fair. I've still got it. Uh, the trackers are still looking just fine for me. Interesting. Okay, we got a duck. At least stuff's funny. So I think he just needs Ponyta. I think he has gotten everything except Ponyta. Yeah, the only thing yeah, he needs on this round is Pony. Yeah. Wait, so he wait, so etiquette unmarked coughing and wheezing. Does he think he won't is... enough to see? We'll see what happens. I think and I think Etiquette's like trying to figure out his route at this point. Which I do not blame anyone in this situation for being like, oh my god, what do I do here? Shiny Snorlax time? Shiny Snorlax time? 
Who believes? I'm a doubter. I believe. It's like I believe one in Matt the... got it. <laughs> nope. It's regular. Can't believe it. Okay, still needs the pony. Yeah. Come on, show me the horse. I'm I'm ready for big horse. Look, honestly, at this point, I think Etiquette will be happy with either. Oh, <laughs> nice do duo spawn. Very good. Literally on top of you. I don't think there's anything you could do about that. No. Oh, there's Pony. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let's see how good Headstrong spawns are. Yep. Pony spots into a pony. Let's <laughs> go. Uh, Sandy, hot on everyone's heels, talking to Brock right now. That's wrong with a massive advantage on the catch count, though. Mm -hmm. Well, no. Uh, it's already like done with the 38, so that's fine. Yeah. Headstrong will have less evos. And less catches. Mm -hmm. Getting the horse. Um, let's see what... Talking to Brock, cringe. Did, uh... Is it just me having these tracker issues, or...? No. Uh... It keeps cutting in and out for me too. Yeah, I still, I, I've, I've got a good tracker. So if, if y'all have any questions about uh, where things are at, I can check. Um, well, it's, it's fine now. But... Yeah, I'm glad one of us has been having consistently decent tracker stuff. Well, it was so... fine until like five minutes ago. Yeah, and like Spider said, thankfully stream is fine. Uh, Edda should not need dome at all. That's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, at this point, uh, etiquette should be good. He can just catch Tangela, Magmar, Tentacool, and Coughing, like two of those four. My bet is he goes Tenta, Evo, Coughing, Evo. Well, he only needs to Evo one of them. Between coughing and tenta. Not both. Yeah. Unless he decides to not or he could he could catch Tenta and Coughing, Evo Bolt, and then not get nine tails. Which honestly be what I would do. I would go for it because you can just catch just the two faster. of them directly into your party and not have to do like go one, go out of your way to get the firestone, two, withdraw the Vulpix, Evo it, deposit it. A lot of ponies for Headstrong. Does Headstrong still need... Oh, oh there's the Dodua, as I was about to say it. Uh, does... How much stuff does Headstrong still need to catch, besides Star... Star... Chansey! Chansey! Round 17 Chansey! Sad, sadly, it's for the runner who already had one. Okay, so if Psyduck shows up, I would catch that over the coffee for Headstrong. But obviously you just go if no Psyduck pops up. But it looks like Headstrong only needs two catches left. Yeah, Headstrong's really good on catches right now. <laughs> Sandy has four evolutions, so Sandy's going to be here a while. <laughs> yep, and... Now we're getting into the fun game of So How's That Star? You mean good stars exist? Oh, Psyduck! Not going back for it. Okay. Look. It's fine. You don't think it good stars exist. You, ha you, you just have 
bad stars and worse stars. Getting more silver razzes. Oh, skipping the Tangela, okay. Not getting Tangela. We're nice, nice anything. <laughs> are we sure? I know, I know Etiquette's Super Lord, but are we actually sure? <laughs> are we actually sure Etiquette's Super Lord? <laughs> Oh, okay, got the star. Okay, star time, star time. What's the CP? Ha! <laughs> it's better than his first one. 1037, though. You know, technically correct. The best kind of correct. 1032, if I recall, was his first. He's gonna have a nice average of like 1034.5 or whatever. Right? Amazing. <laughs> uh, chat pointing out, it could be. Uh, 31 speed, 31 special attack. But just barely. Oh, there's a tent. Okay, so I, I assume he's going dome since he's skipping Tenta and. Because we'll he's see. skipping Tenta. No, he, he, ha he has to. Yeah, like, he's catching coughing for sure. I don't think there's any arguments on that front. The question, I guess, is. No, I guess coughing Magmar has to be the play. Yep, blowing Magmar. Hey, skip a candy? Question mark? <laughs> if this is like gigantic Magmar, this could skip a candy. That would be sick. This is like 80, high 80% catch, so it should get in. Cringe if it breaks. I mean, every breakout's cringe, e even the unlikely ones. Gets it. Not a level. Nope. Oh, star for headstrong. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Ten forty-two. <laughs> okay. We're, we're having great stars here, based on C. But CP is a lie, so. Yeah. I I'm telling you, good stars don't exist. Never have I ever had a, a star with 1100 or more CP. Okay, so, so Etiquette has to be getting Kabuto and Kabutatsu. I've had 1100 CP stars with like zero IV special attack. No, no, sorry. Etiquette's getting coffee. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, the Magmar catch makes sense. Um, I do think there was an argument for whether or not to go for Tenta and not do the Ninetales Evo, but this... Th this is a fairly respectable and straightforward way to uh, finish Etiquette's catch count route. Okay. Here's Headstrong's last... Here's Headstrong's last uh, catch. Yo, nice coughing. Didn't even move. Literally free. There's the coffin. Yep. So Headstrong is actually ahead right now. Really close. They're now like in the same spot with the same Pokemon catch count. And Sandy is. Oh, glowing Chansey! Glowing Chansey! Mansion Chansey! <laughs> you want oh. like level 56 Starmie? He can catch the Chansey. All right. Here's... Do it. Do it. 1055. No. 1055 for Sandy. So Sandy does have the best odds of having the best star. But that's all we can say about it right now. Okay, let's see what Headstrong Star is. <laughs> oh, that's so not good. Ah. <laughs> 
That is so not good. Wicked fast, but... At least the speed is fine. Ouch. Camp will outspeed the Pidgeot and everything, so that's fine. Yeah. But... Uh... 77 minimum special, special attacks. <sighs> Absolutely okay, let's see etiquette. Special attack. Let's see etiquette. Yep. Okay, it is... Better. Okay, yeah. Uh, the speed- wait, will it have speed? 80 no, it won't. 86 is, uh, it is slow. Yeah, the, the, the question is, how slow is it? Uh, pretty slow. I mean, yes, but are we talking not outspeeding, uh... Not outspeeding Rapidash. I don't think it does. Uh, 87, it will outspeed the pony. It might, it might get outsped by Pid Pidgeot. Well, not the pony. It'll outspeed the Pidgeot. 87 is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. You're at 87, you're guaranteed to outspeed the Pidgeot. Hey, let's see Sandy's. Okay, okay. Also, speedy, but trash. I mean, I guess yeah. it's okay. 80. Hedgehog has the worst special attack. Uh, then Sandy. These are all stars. <laughs> These are definitely some of the stars of all time. We have two that are insanely fast. That's about it. If only they had swapped their speed with a special attack. Yeah. Like, I would rather have a min speed max special attack. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because, like, min speed is like what? The rivals Pid Pidgeot and then Blaine? Rapid where it's an and issue. then Blaine. And then yeah. Lorelei's Jinx can outspeed you. Okay. So, so Sandy just needs a Grimer. No Grimer on the first floor. Oh, there's the Grimer. Easy. So this is the last catch of the run. For everybody. Yeah, we are done catching Pokemon. I was wondering if Headstrong was going to pick up that Banshee Candy for safety. Because... The star is not good. No. Because the Mitch Candy would hit 55, right? No. Never mind. I don't know why you pick it up. Ignore me. You should ignore me all the time. So. How, how many super potions did, uh... Etiquette and... What is... Oh, Sandy's repelling. Okay, hopefully no inputs get eaten. You mean like me in the race? Hopefully no one has turbo controllers left on? <laughs> Imagine using turbo. I've been noticing Etika has been making little menu mistakes, like, a fair bit this run. It's a little surprising, but I guess maybe not that surprising because he's been DK TK Rando runner recently. I've just noticed minor stuff like, like uh, double edging. Well, that's not menus, but inputs. So hopefully no mess miss up inputs here. It'd be really bad. Well, I guess not super bad, but it would be bad. Is that a kick gonna pick option three for this next question? OK, 
Okay, Headstrong got confused and is now cool go. At a quiz. Easy. No misinputs there. See, will I can't get perfect playing? Nope. Raise such like I don't understand why the like weird special full heals they give you take care of confusion, but actual full heals don't. Right? Wait, full heals don't? Regular full heals do not heal confusion. Or what? maybe they do in this game. Okay, not crit, so. We're fine because I think Etiquette outspeeds the. Was Etiquette out? I didn't. She did outspeed the Nine Tails, right? Oh yeah, you will outspeed Nine Tails. Yes. No, At forty six, so. you always outspeed. Okay. So Headshot's a little bit ahead. They're at the same poke catch now. Poke count catch at forty six. Um. This race is, yeah, it's just gonna come down to how the end game goes. Archer is coming. Yeah. Yep. This headstrong has no super potions. That may be the difference here. Yeah, so Meta headstrong... shouldn't need to. Well, I can't also only has. Yeah, okay, early shop. Yeah, early mm -hmm. shop, I figured. Oh, okay, just buying super potions. Okay. We'll just do regular shop. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I they're, so <laughs> they're so close because of that shop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, Etiquette and Headstrong are neck and neck. And if any of them stumble, even for a second, Sandy is, like, right there. This is a good one. Not perfect. Uh, not perfect. Uh, Blaine. Um, every runner got confused. Hey, Etiquette's doing the middle veil first. Let's go. You know, this is my first time even learning that you can do that. Oh, yeah, you can do either. You can do those two in either order. That's wild. I always do, well, not always, but sometimes I do the bottom one first. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, as you saw, like, he wasn't even really, like, looking at the top one and still hit it, so like you just walk straight for the most part and spam A and hit it. Yeah. So. Like, the only thing I'm worried about with the weird targeting is when I go for the middle trash can accidentally talking to the trainer instead. Oh, that's why I hard turn left. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, super close. Yeah, Etiquette and Headstrong, just that right you apart. Well, it uh, does have the slower evolution in Nine Tails, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah. Well, Headstrong is a poke up, too. So. Yep. Headstrong is ahead. Yeah. Well, I'm with the uh, Dodrio Evo, Headstrong is now at 47. They both have an Evo now. 
Yeah, both of them still need to. Very close. Yeah, both we'll of them see still how need the archers. Releasing. And etiquette needs to evolve nine tails. Oh, etiquette's Maybe evolving now. Died right now, plus or minus like five seconds. Yeah. I... We did. I think he still has seven supers. Yeah. Did he buy more? I thought you had. I nope. thought you didn't have. I don't okay. think you did. You didn't really have to use any. Yeah, doing the menuing, getting that Vulpix Evo. This is the calm before the archer. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Erica's gym still super free. Uh oh. Power flicker. Oh, geez, no. Get the phone ready. Take it out of the dock. For five on hydros, what the f jeez must uh. be nice. What does it feel like just to have literal perfect RNG? Like, imagine me as Poke Guy, as Poke Guy. What's it like to be that good? I don't know. What is it like in Magical Christmas Land? <laughs> uh, setting a time for lower bracket? Okay. Wait, is Poke Guy actually winning that race or is he behind and just setting a time for pot two? I'm gonna go look. Uh, cause we've got Dueling Erica fights with Sandy on their way down. Okay. Yeah. That uh, makes sense then. I'd imagine what, like 3, 14, 3, 15 pace, maybe? Yeah, the, the, the time over there is 3.02, and they're both in the Elite Four. Uh, Crisis is on Bruno. Pokey Guy is on Lorelei. Okay, yeah, so like 3, 14 ish. Mm hmm. It's just buzzing with emergency evacuation warnings for in town. So, my uh, weather might also be an issue. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, I'm home right now. Uh, it's for an event space, but... Uh, so I don't actually have to worry about anything. But yeah, it, if the power goes out uh, and I suddenly drop... Eh, I, d I don't have a power backup, so <laughs> I'll just be gone. Oof.
But I trust you two. You two can carry on without me should it happen. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Hopefully... No, it does we, not. We, hopefully we get to see some cool archers first. You, you know, like... I don't want to see any cringe Archer 2s, I just want all of today's Archer 2s to be based and cracked and jacked. Blue fight is fun. Oh yeah, you get to see Magmar. Blue. It's a nice easy X back in the flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. And we have Etiquette using the fairly newly developed Magmar strats. Fire Punch. Oh, it's X attack Fire Punch, okay. Yeah. Now, the question is, is Sandy going to use the horse or the bird? Are we going to see yep. three different blue strats? It is very close. Sandy's only a fight behind. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Etiquette and Headstrong, Archer 2 at the same time. Come on, say it with me. Self-destruct. Self-destruct. No protect. No, no protect. protect. No protect. <laughs> well, unless you're voting for Etiquette, but I mean, we don't want to see anybody with bad luck. Yeah, they're like... Uh, oh, perfect turn one. Right? Start off RNG, fine. Battle oh, Archer 2 mind. is no! just rude. Wait, did... Evil. Oof. Uh, okay. Do you usually go... Do you, do you usually you go see first? Boom and Bone Ring into the rat. Don't you usually go second? Okay, this is... Okay, this is fine. Yeah, you can live a T-Bolt, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. one T-Bolt, one T-Bolt is fine, now see- Oh, let's this is... go, we go, we're, we out here, four turn fight. Oh, I- Four turn uh, fight. Edda? Edda? Oh no. Uh, and, and the prophecy may have foretold on Etiquette's side, um, I'm sure he'll have, uh, recordings, but, you know. Godspeed, friend. Right. Yeah. He, yeah, he's, he's still running. running. Yeah, he's still going. We'll we'll get the local record later. Uh, for now, though, the question is, where are Sandy and Headstrong going to line up? Okay, so that was really good, Archer. Um, see, so so that Archer right there is why I prefer Thunderbolt turn one. If you only get one Thunderbolt and then get self destruct. Um, Radicate dies, usually dies like the second or third turn, mm -hmm. and so as long as you don't get wheezing protect, it's an easy four turn fight. Um, yeah. So yes. Um, I don't know if we want to switch to the two player view. Well, uh. Spider said in chat that we're gonna give it a minute before we switch, just in case Etiquette gets back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But 
Okay, headstrong th through the cringe archer fight. Did Sandy get perfect turn? No. That no. looked like protect, self destruct. This is turn three, right? That sounds right. This looks like turn three to me. I yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, because if this what if, if we had got in uh, no protect self destruct, the Golbat and the Radicate would have came, came out at the same time. <laughs> oh, needs to heal. Yeah. Hopefully that means uh, Radicate tries to go for Sucker Punch on this turn. Um, it might. Cuba does have the focus energy up, so crits can happen. Oh, come on! This is fine. Sucker Punch can't. Well, he's gonna have. To... They're... They're gonna have to heal again? Nope. Yeah, Lucky. Dynam, I am too. Lucky. Sandy, they, uh. Didn't get hit by Sucker Punch. It targeted the yeah. Cubone. So it doesn't have to heal this turn. Yep. Which means this fight's over. 4 HP, but it lives. That was... I mean, not that Sandy's uh, Archer fight could have... Could have been uh, worse than the last time, because the last time they had an awful one. Yeah. But... Yeah, they, uh... I mean, we'll take it in a race, I guess. Okay, so Giovanni... Um... Easy. Yep. And Hedgehog's gonna get the last two pokes. I have no idea what pace people are on because I'm awful at guessing pace. So yeah, I'm not even like try. I don't. I don't really like worry about guessing paces until we hit E4. I'm fairly confident both are three O, like mid to low, low to mid. Yeah, S S Sandy, you know, might be a little closer to the three O one side, but you know, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Three O one, not. I don't think they're that good. <laughs> nah, this is probably... Me too, Sheep. Me too. <laughs> yeah, because like, a lot of it's gonna come down to uh, Koga Protects uh, for, you know... Oh, we got Koga Protects, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, this is like 307-ish. Okay. Let's see what happens. And that's a 307 with safe strats, I imagine, right? Yeah. Let's see what happens. Rhymer's evolving. This definitely isn't real vibe. Mm-hmm. Okay, Clapper's time. If you... Do you think either of these runners have a bad enough star that they'll go for an extra rare candy? No, because they would have gotten no. they would have gotten the mansion candy. Mm-hmm. Oh right, because they they evolved the horses. So they're just doing regular strat. Okay. So like Yeah, no, they they both candied the horse, so. Yeah. I think they'll all have a... So I guess it just comes down to who hits Dragonite Rangers, right? Crisis of 31335. Nice. Let's go. Because I don't think... I don't think Dragonite... I mean, Etiquette had the best one. So if Dragonite's guaranteed for anyone, it would be Etiquette. Mm -hmm. I don't think the other ones will have... Have... Have it, though. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see.
314 for Poke Guy, and he only just started this literally right before the freaking. I. Jeez. I don't think. I, I don't think any. I don't think Sandy can't can hit. It. Well, it'll be a range, but mm -hmm. it won't be a good one. I don't think any of them will be close to hit. To... I think they'll have, like, not great ranges. Well, T Pet, don't the winners from the lower bracket move on anyway? So Crisis is up, is advancing. It's just whether it's lower pot two or lower pot three. Uh, T or uh, Poke Guy will have to depend on time. And then, did Fortunate did they DNF? Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, they DNF. Yeah. Did, where did they DNF? I don't know. It, it was, I think chat mentioned it earlier, it was fairly early on, like an oh, did... hour, hour and a half in. Oh, they're okay then. Yeah, for, what, what, what I saw was uh, just some really bad strings of RNG and just like, I will never blame someone for just like tapping out if you know, the game is just being that rude. Yeah, chat saying JJ too. No, just didn't feel like finishing it. Fair. Yeah. Hey, Sandy and Headshrunk both got the candy first and then the Lapras. Do you two do that or do you do Lapras first? Modest Pika oof. I'll I take Modest Pika. Wait, no, I meant Adam. Modest <laughs> Pika, okay, modest, modest, modest Pika, I will take if I get, you know, glowing Clefables and Chansies. <laughs> then I would, then I would, then I would take it. But you yeah. need the glowing stuff. If you don't get the, the early levels, then yeah, uh, minus attack is the worst. As you saw with Aspect, too. So I guess Fortunate didn't have a backup or felt like they couldn't afford the 40 second time log. Yeah, okay. who can say? Anyway. Okay, do we get turn one light screen or do we panic? Because these are the two options. I mean, you don't, nah, you don't panic. You just have to stall turn or whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Or you could just get, um, just get, uh, not it and then psychic and then you just take the hit from. Can't reconnect, but you're still going. Fair. Yeah. Good luck. You got the etiquette. Okay, turn one light screen. Uh, we're on basic strats. Snow s double. Well, snow spinef drops. <coughs> oh, nice for fun. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, spinef drop doesn't matter if you hit the X speed. The two of them can matter if it just only attacks. Yeah. Uh, slash, also, I think you oh. But at this point, the fight's over. Sandy is just getting to the Sabrina teleport pad. Remembering T Thunderbolt, who would ever forget to teach Thunderbolt for this fight? I don't know. Oh, missed the teleporter. Still fine. Poker guy getting a 314 that early on into even running this game is ridiculous. 116 I... at 48, that's pretty bad. <laughs> 114 at 6, that's so bad. Uh, well, we're definitely plus sixing to Lorelei. <laughs> yep. Two optionals? Jeez. Yeah, what the, Etiquette what? chiming Does in that... with a, uh, to, to let us know that he is still neck and neck with Headstrong right now. Uh, finished Sounds Sabrina like... basically at the same time.
only if only the stupid weather would right <laughs> right 118 at, uh, not even special attack avs <laughs> Okay, getting teeth after. I don't know if Etiquette gets it before or... Uh, I don't know what Etiquette usually does. Yeah. It's the same time either way, correct? I think that's... I think that's what people said. I know... I know people said before, like, early teeth was like 0.1 seconds. <laughs> Sandy had... Did, did they put light up screen up again? Oh yeah, that was a turn two light screen. Was it? I thought. Or did or did Sandy just heal to be for safety? Got special defense. Oh. Okay. No. Yeah, it must have been two turn 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 two uh, light screen. Either that or be. this bit F drop. Yeah. Everything's fine. Okay, got past Caden. I think it was Toxic Protect. Okay, we have a uh We've got a I've got Can a pulled up Gino? Discord stream from Etiquette. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh okay. also on Caden right now. Was that protect? Okay, got uh, past Mock. I don't know what happened, but... Yeah, pr protected fine. while setting up the X special attack. No, uh, Kate, as long as, as long as Minimize doesn't happen, I take any other Kaden. Correct. Uh, Beedrill protects uh, for the first one, um, and then Skull protects going down. Fairly average Kaden fight. W one lost turn overall. Yeah, it was the same as Hedgehog's Kaden. I don't know. Etiquette might be ahead. I don't know if oh. he got early T. I feel like he does, but I'm not. I'm not sure. It'll be yeah. close. The only difference is we have some lag off of the Discord, so like. Okay, so Sandy used an extra candy. So Sandy used five candies. So that is that Bruno turnarounds. I don't know. Uh, five candies is Bruno turnarounds. Okay. Or at least Sandy it was when I did it. <laughs> oh no! Okay, look at we're back. Oh, we're back. Okay, let's go. We are back. Etiquette did get early teeth. So, I'd say they're about even. Yeah. Okay, Headstrong got through Weezing. I did not see if there were protects on the Weezing. If... I think the, the, the damage was from. I don't. Did... I, th I feel like Kane's muck toxic, but I could be wrong. No protect from the Veno. Check from the gold bat. Okay, etiquette Toxic gets unfortunate. Yeah, uses the last antidote. Uh, so that's basically the same as protect. And doesn't get a protect turn two. Well, did did on the setup. Oh or, yeah, did yeah, on yeah, the, yeah, you're right, you're right. It didn't get double protect. Uh, yeah, no I've double. seen double protect before, and that's the worst. Oh, Venomoth protected. Same. Okay, Headstrong is out at uh, 3128 by our count. We'll go that protect. Yes. Okay. The muck is like almost certainly to protect. And Sandy is coming up on Caden. Might be a little bit of lag, but we should be okay. Oh, no. Oh, the muck did not protect. Yo. Yo. Toxic. Is Sandy going to play? Okay, no minimize. Minimize will be the worst. Mm -hmm. Nope, and there it is. See? Just hit. Okay. Easy. 
Okay, okay. Uh, Caden is much less cringe than it could have been. Uh, yeah, so, uh, for a, uh, quick race recap for all the Raiders coming in from the other race, uh, which I'm looking forward to going back and watching, um, we started off with, uh, some fairly average starters. Uh, Sandy had plus special attack on the Pika, but the other two weren't really exciting. Um, any other... Any major notable thing? Other major notable things in the early game? Um, Etiquette didn't catch a Nine Tails. <laughs> um, didn't catch a Nine Tails. Kind of bad, realistically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it hasn't been great. Where he was always Strong's had pretty much everything. He was always like behind on pokes. Until yeah, the end. yeah. Um, um, every oh yeah, Sandy got a Moon Chansey. Overall, everyone was like way above average on experience. Um, well, Headshot yeah. wasn't, wasn't until Tunnel, I think. And then yeah. Was, and then I think Graveler, like, got it up. Okay. And Chad is saying that Headstrong is currently 11 seconds ahead of Etiquette. Um, I'm assuming a certain amount of this comes down to uh, various stream syncing. Is this... Uh, it, that sounds about right, because Headstrong's been ahead since Ted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Headstrong leaving the lab at 34.11. Um, it, it's very close. She's very... It, she's not terribly far ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Please. so... I... The, 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 the stream is functionally and, correct. Yes. The advantage is Etta has a better special attack by a decent margin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like as soon as we get to Dragonite, well, and well, no, Dragonite is gonna be a two C. So like, oh, Dragonite will be. Two. We can still kill, right? Well, yeah. Does Dragonite, Dragonite it kills could, from fall? Yeah, it could kill. Dragonite kills from fall, right? I think so. Depending on HP and whatnot. I've survived it before. I mean, we'll see on these on the level up what, uh... Hydro may just decide this, yes. Yep. see what a lot of things can decide the race. I assume both people will go for uh, 2 CGO. Maybe not. Probably. The, the question is, you know, like, Again, if we don't want to see another T Pat Caroline, okay? Yeah. Well, I mean, T Pat Caroline was like my Caroline from round one. It was awful. Although mine was worse because I had quiet stuff, so. And whose fault was that? Yeah, but that wasn't even the worst part because I got like put to sleep by the Jinx and then missed like three hydro pumps and almost died. <laughs> and then I got hit by the, the, the Arcanine. Yeah, that was me too, t -Bat. like the same thing. Yours just mattered more. <laughs> yeah, Edda Pump. I feel like I feel like we might see one CGO. Mm -hmm. But I mean, given how close they are, I could see a one CGO. Yeah, like, I could see, uh, Headstrong, like, getting into some interesting head games of, I need to 1CGO because I'm worried etiquette might 1CGO, 
and therefore I need to do it to keep ahead. I can well, see etiquette. Can see Naomi, uh, no. Not a chance. Not with these stars, no. Yeah. Both of them are one seeing Geo. Okay. <laughs> like, I think this is just the result of a prisoner's dilemma. Sandy. Sandy, uh. Could, could, this could just be a matter of getting crit. Sandy could suddenly be in the lead. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is still literally anyone's race. Let's see. Okay. No! <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. I saw okay. the crit, I'm like, no shot, you live that! Etiquette also has to heal. Yep. Um... Okay! Headstrong's through. Okay. And, and slash. On etiquette, and etiquette. slash, and we're through. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Both are clean. Jeez. <sighs> Sa Sandy's kind of forced to go. How did she like live that crit? I feel well, almost will help. I feel like Sandy kind of has to go for fast stuff. That had to be oh. good defense. If that was maybe oh no, Sandy was dead. <laughs> Sandy getting trolled by the split, the the spin tile. Okay, one twenty five special. Ratioed. I did not see headstrongs. I saw one twenty five special for etiquette. I don't. I know headstrongs is worse. Yeah, you usually live EQ quick for fall, so I wasn't surprised that. Like, if you want, to, if you get crit, you want it to be that turn. But did anyone see etiquette or uh, headstrongs special? I didn't. Etiquette's did one twenty-five. Oh boy. But yeah, the, I made up but, a little bit of time, but not a lot. It is close. Yeah, the the gap between the two runners, which was closer to ten seconds after Ted, has narrowed down to just a few seconds. Again, I will ask because it may come up. What's the rules on ties? It's not gonna happen. Don't worry. They just have to I'm do it going again. to worry. I'm going to keep worrying every single time we get this close, this deep in. It's not happening. They just frame count. It'll never be... Oh yeah, Ditch Bill Sudden Death. It'll never okay, be okay. framed perfectly. It'll never be framed perfectly. In this game, it won't happen. Headstrong 121 special. 120... Did Headstrong heal? Ditch Bill the time break. Oh, yeah, Headstrong yeah. might not... No, Headstrong doesn't need to heal. No. Yeah. No, like... Headstrong, like, she outspeeds the Raichu. She doesn't even need X speed. Oh, does she? Yeah, she has 145 speed. Okay. Oh, yeah, Etiquette does not have... Hey, I guess we'll see if the Pidgey outspeeds. Mm-hmm. No, Etiquette, not. Full... Etiquette is at full health, so... Uh, don't have to worry about a kill. You does okay. this Pidgeot know sand attack still? It that does. doesn't matter. Yes, it does. But we're fine. I know. Like once yeah. you're out, like once you're 87 speed, you always outspeed. Mm -hmm. At 46. At 46, yes. Okay. Also, I'm so used to Jolteon, right? So fair. I, I keep thinking Jolteon. For stuff, for some stuff with this Raichu. Mm -hmm. Not the Pidgeot, but. Yeah, but we're through. We're safe. Wait, so did Etiquette not have to XP? Oh, Etta does. Okay. But Etta's talking... on the third poke, so. Sandy passed Geo. I did not even pay attention if they one seed or two seed. 
We'll find out as soon as the cutscene's over, I guess. Okay, fun fact for all the AOP diploma runners. Um, as soon as you exit this guard spec, this guard house, if you go right, there's a Pokeball with three more Golden Razzes. Very nice. Mm. Literally free. Okay, so it looks like Sandy did one. Yeah. Oh, oh, the, oh no, two. Rabidash is dead. Yeah, Rabidash is dead too. Never mind. Headstrong is ahead because of the menu. I guess, I get. I guess Sandy kind of just wants to maybe just set um, a good uh, time to be still be in lower pot one. Because mm -hmm. the, the top three third place. Um, I think it's just the top three I mean, third even place. If you're top five, get get upper pot or lower pot one compared to lower pot two. Yeah, and chat's talking. Uh, Sandy might be on BB pace. I forget what their oh. BB is coming into this. It's not. I don't think. Right. I mean, I. Sandy's PB is what, 307? Uh, yeah, somewhere plus 50, about 307, 308. Plus 50 right now, so yeah. Uh, likely not going to be a PB, but still a very respectable run. Just all. Well, Caroline. I guess the Hypno Control too with the Hypno is just. Mm -hmm. um... Yeah, I would be so surprised if anyone won sees. <laughs> Let's see, does does Headstrong hit the pump? Yes. Let's go. Hits the pump. Oh, Pokey Guy won seed today. On Naomi? Let's see. That's risky. And it can't also hit the pump. But didn't kill. Didn't hit the range. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, all, all right. these stars are not good. <laughs> what was that range, by the way? 125? I don't have notes, so... Um, I'll take a look. 125 is low. Yeah, that's a 10 and 16 for 125. Okay. So, miss, miss that. Oh, Etiquette got the bad spinner. <laughs> See what this hypno does. Avoided the hypnosis. Put to sleep. Mm -hmm. oh. And Edda now onto the same fight. This is so close. This call. Yeah. Okay. A Psychic through the hypno. Yeah, psychic is good. Oh, I accidentally scalded the slow bro. Just a time loss, not a big deal. Yep. And I can hitting the high. double thunderbolt, uh, which means you don't have to worry about accidentally hitting scald. Okay. Really close. Oh, Sandy's coming up to Naomi. Yep. One C. What? Oh. <laughs> wait. So wait, wait. No, two C. It's two C. 
Oh my god, that, that support trainer must have been so far off screen. I did not see the support trainer. I was gonna like, yeah. there's no way Sandy has a good range on this Kangaskhan. Because Sandy's also is bad. Right? Okay. Although also... Sandy is one, high, one level higher. Okay. okay, here's Lexa skip. Yep. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easy pass. Free. Okay, now don't, don't talk. Oh, taking the safe talk, yep. No one's gonna... No one wants Everyone's to be going asked. save talk now after Hedgies. Yeah, oh, no, I... did, did it dismount? Oh, okay. That first was a little sketch from etiquette, but we're fine. Easy peasy. Yep. Also being safe. <laughs> yeah, no. A after that clip. Everyone's going safe now after that because like you can look right at her, not even talking to like, Kobe, and no so yeah, you was like, what the freak? Okay. Hydra miss, Hydra miss. Rip. Hit. No, oh, it did. No. It lived. Heal. Okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, Queen. Yeah. But Etta retakes the lead. Yeah. Okay, wait, what's, what's, what's head trunks? 123 of 51. Yeah. They better hope they can survive an outrage. <laughs> 153 defense? Wait, you mean 103 defense, right? What? I don't know what. Yeah, I was not paying attention to the defense. I don't look at defense ever. I only look at special. I have no idea how much Outrage would do. Mm -hmm. Sandy also got put to sleep. These stars are just awful. Because Outrage on the Dragonite, see if you actually live it. Yeah, Etiquette, six uh, strong push pushes ahead, which is obviously the single most important metric for measuring time. Only in basketball do I look at defense? Fair, sheep, fair. Damn, no Dawson skip, can't believe it. <laughs> SMH. <coughs> Wins non mounted Dawson Skip. Licky. Alright. Uh, that Sarmi should be out of uh, kill range here. Nope. Okay. Oh, headstrong. Feet is back. Alright. Both of them seeing Power Whip come out. And dodges the Power Whip. I always call Power Whip Grass Knot all the time. Now Sandy, I'm going to do that. Grass Knot is special, Power Whip is physical. Okay. Sandy made Alexa skip, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Did Colby skip? Yep, skipping Colby. Congrats to, the, congrats to all three runners for skipping Colby. Yeah. Okay, Etiquette not, is picking up the full restore, so it's not TCing expected. I expect these people to pick up. I suspect 1C at this point. They're so yeah. close. Yeah, no. I, yep. It, if, if safe yeah. shots happen, it'll only be Lance and Champ. But I yeah. think let's go. God. Oh. I think it's going to be 1C on the Agatha for sure. Every single race oh. I've commented this round has been progressively closer. How are all these runners so good? Okay. It is wild. So, so Sandy at 52 is... It might be a 304, 305-ish. Is stream is... Dead. Oh, the whole stream is... Yeah, everything. Okay. 
Well. Okay, Headstrong was back for three frames. I hope they're all local recording. <laughs> I don't know, this is not where they are, right? They all have to be farther than this. I... I yeah. No idea. I don't know. Okay, well, I... I don't see anything. So... I... Okay. I can't. Uh, so... Headstrong has a Dodrio. Okay. 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 So, while we wait for the stream to settle, uh... Major shoutouts to Spider on tech. Yes. Kinda seeing stuff? I mean, Lorelai. It's hard. Oh. We'll see if they hit the pumps on. Does Ed, can Etiquette go plus? No, they they all have to plus no. six. No, they all have to plus six. They, yeah, everyone I don't think has anyone. Six. Nobody has a high enough special attack to go plus four. Yeah, I I don't think anyone has even has the high enough special attack to like try and pump Agatha. So, um, yes. Straightforward. Just needs to pump the Jinx. Or can you plus six skull? Is plus six skull the range? Oh. No, plus six skull is not a range. Okay, so don't even have to hit the pump. Yeah. So plus four pump is a range. Scald always kills up plus six. Well, no, plus four scald is a range. Plus four pump kills. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're everyone's through. Let's headstrong any character through, uh... Through Lorelei. Yep. Slowly coming back. God, not being able to, like, see the moment by moment. Right? Oh, this is so tense. And of course, Sandy is through Dawson. Okay, refreshing. Okay. I see Etiquette's stream. Etiquette is good to go for me. Oh, Headstrong is here. Okay. Let's go. We're both on Bruno. You good. No faints. Oh, Headstrong. Headstrong got Stealth Rock, so no faints. I mean, they wouldn't get faint anyway. Imagine two seeing Bruno because you think you're gonna get faint when it doesn't exist. I can't. I can't imagine that. Mm -hmm. who, would, who would ever do that? Right? You only have to do that if you're Vandal or Aspect. <laughs> I guess, I guess truly, but. I've never seen faint. It just doesn't exist. I have okay. seen Heat Wave turn one from champ, though. Turn one? Turn one. I've seen it in kill range. I've seen uh, it turn one on a 1C. Wild. So, so is Headstrong gonna... Is Headstrong gonna Thunderbolt Golbat? Thunderbolt... <laughs> Thunderbolt Golbat, because Headstrong only has, uh, four Psychic Slides. Uh, probably, she... And even then, it did, like, nothing. Well, obviously, it's gonna do nothing. <laughs> Alright. Etiquette on to Agatha. Yep. <laughs> okay, Headstrong is doing 2C Agatha. So. Okay. That's... So right, Edda needs a good, a good Agatha here. And oh, Edda's... Oh, okay, power of love. Perfect. Easy. Let's go. Easy. He does have 87 HP. So does he live a T-Bolt though?
goes expert up, I figured. Oof. He needs to heal. Wait, is this not go back quick attack range? I don't think quick attack does 15. It can. He has to heal. Oh, does it at 215? Okay. 14, so at like max defense, 14 to 16, a high roll of 17. What if it, what if it crunches? I've seen it crunch here. Okay, good. Nice crit. Okay, good. Glad was the quick attack. I have seen it uh, crunch before instead of quick attack. So. Okay. Let's see what. Should absolutely two C plants. Yes. Yeah, we'll see. Nope. Saving in 1C, okay. Well, All right. he's going All right. in. Let Lance decide. <laughs> Let's see what Hedgehog decides to do. Wait. Oh, yeah. So, what is Etiquette's uh, special attack right now? No, we're going to find out on the level. We're going to find out. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Anyway. We're going to level up. Uh... You level up during the fight, so. Yeah. Yo. Okay. Wait, it's 131 uh, right now. Will he level up before the Gyarados? Oh, nice start. Night. Wow. Okay. Easy. Yeah. If he does not level up before the Gyarados, this is still a range. Well, we could just T-ball. Yes. Okay. Easy. Easy. He's through. As long. Well, it's up to. It's up to Dragonite. Well, I wonder, like, like those. Okay, this is a range of some sort. I think uh... we'll find out if it was. It might not have been. Okay. Special. Have a piece three. 132, 134. 134. So, okay. 13, 16, 13, 16. And yeah. It wasn't. It, it wasn't 13, a range. 16 range. Gyarados, Gyarados was. Gyarados was not a range. Uh, the. Uh, 131 would have been. Oh, okay. Headstrong has a 10, 16 range. Oh God. 13, 16. Hits it easy. Got it. Nice. Yeah, Edgy, all of these stars are pretty bad. Okay, <laughs> 10 sixteenths. Well, like, Dragon, Dra or Dodrio can just kill it. Yes, Dodrio kills. Hits it anyway. Easy. Easy. Free as a bird. Okay. You see, so this is so Ed is free. I think Ed should win. Yep. Because they're both doing two C strats, so. <laughs> Etiquette not skipping the cutscene to show dominance.
Oh, nice Hyper Beam dodge for Sandy. Nice Hydro Pump dodge from Sandy that time. Yo, let's go, let's go. I mean, did Sandy just not get hit up the entire setup? <laughs> did Sandy just dodge everything? I think so. I think they did. And it looks like etiquette is through. Okay, Dodrio's dead. Now's the 2C. Oh, 2C, okay. Yep. They got they they only set up to plus two. Yeah, I kinda thought so. But they were able to get through the arrow at plus two, so they waited until the third. Yeah, Headstrong and Etiquette both clean. Just Thunderbolt the Slowbro. It's the only thing left that isn't just mashing. Oh! Huh. No, it's fine. It's kind of <laughs> uh... Hey, what's the start, Star Me? 135, this is the 13 16th range for Sandy. Oh, but I always forget to give the second controller. So GG's. GG's. That is through with a mid 305. Yep. Does Headstrong beat T Pat? What was T Pat's time? By four seconds. Oh. <laughs> T-Pat had 30547, so I think Headstrong should beat that, right? Is it four seconds? Pretty close. I have on I have a 30524 for Etta. Okay, I think the timer's a little off, but we'll see. Yeah, well, t timers are always a little off here. Um, we will also need to do the full frame count anyway because s stream stuff, but... Oh my gosh, so Hedgehog's really good, looking really good for staying in upper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Being T-pad by seconds. Yeah, this is going to be three incredible times from... All of our yeah, runners this today. Is indeed, this is a really good race. GG's. Oh, oh, Headstrong is officially in? Headstrong is, is officially in. Etta, good job. Yeah, this is, there's two more lower bracket races, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Or upper bracket, sorry. We got, um, yeah. Hello, Hello. congrats. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Little GG, congrats. Account, just uh, right click and then unmute. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, <laughs> I'm here. All right. I was saying, there he is. Uh, hello, chat. My power went out as soon as I unmuted to start talking. Nice. Um, and yeah, like 
like I said, if uh, I will leave it up to you other people to decide if we want to count my run. There is a full turn of Archer that I did not see. Um, because my computer is connected to the UPS. My switch wasn't. Mm -hmm. So it continued in handheld while I was mashing and I came back and Raticate was dead. Weezing was sitting next to it and Magmar grew to level 46. <laughs> so that's all I know. <laughs> all I know of that turn. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a that was a wild finish. Um, I don't even know what to that say. Was... Thank you, Caroline. Caroline, the real MVP. I'm so sorry, well, Headstrong. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was oof. Caroline was stupid. <laughs> Caroline was bad. <laughs> Congrats on uh, yeah. securing upper bracket, though, Headstrong. Yes. Thank you. You're still an upper. By like five seconds. <laughs> I, I had such terrible special attack. I didn't trust anything at the end. I don't know how I was hitting some of the ranges. I was looking at the right? stuff on it. I was like, I shouldn't be hitting these. Yeah, the Dragonite range. <laughs> I hit the Dragonite range. I hit um, I hit the Kanga range. And that was, yeah. less, than that was less than 50%. I... <laughs> Missed my Kanga range. And apparently, I, I had the best special attack in the race. I saw in chat. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. How? Well, I had a I, thirteen I had, sixteen on Dragonite. I had yeah, one on. Had I had one on nine special. Sandy, 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 it makes Sandy, you feel Sandy. better. So, 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 so I hit Sandy, the psychic range at two of sixteen. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing razor I'm, I'm hearing echoes. Oh, there's, oh, there's echoes. echoes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing. I'm hearing echoes from everybody. Oh no. Um, but. Um, uh, with those echoes, just to chime in real quick, uh, Sandy has a fini has finished with a uh, three hundred eight forty three ish. Jeez. 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 Doesn't Sandy have a three hundred seven? Is this person? Yeah, Sandy has a three hundred seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's oh, oh, the, oh, the echoes are back. Yeah. Yeah. Echoes are back. Um. Uh, yeah. So Hedgehogs was the worst. Uh, Sandy was. Middle and then etiquettes was less. Sorry, headstrong. Go on. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I had I had absolutely minimum uh, special when it I was checked so on the starting. <laughs> okay, the echo should be better now. Okay, cool. I was using my headphone microphone and it was a thing. Um, yeah, my PP is three hundred seven ten. Um, basically, I was watching the stream during E four and was like, if one of them dies to champ and didn't save before champ then i can just one see everything but then i can just secure the sub 310 without that and be in first pot and lose our side 131 yeah. special after the run yeah let me pull <laughs> mine 156 speed yeah your speed was really you're, good you're fast but yeah my speed was about it i have 134 special right now and i have 139 speed <laughs> <laughs> so that's at least that reasonable uh, yeah But yeah, yeah. None, none of you had a great star. Um, Sandy and Headstrong both had ridiculously fast stars. I got crit by an Arbok and got Power of Love out of Poison to not die. And then I also got crit by Doug Trio at Giovanni <laughs> and didn't die. <laughs> yeah. I, I, oh, I yeah. was like, wait, no, did you just... <laughs> I thought for sure you were dead there. I thought oh, my defense... I thought my defense was so bad because I didn't get crit by Giovanni, but I had to heal mid fight because I was like, I'm going to be taking too much damage here. Um, it turned out I just didn't realize I didn't heal. I wasn't at full health. I had taken like a, a chip damage from Toxic. That's what I had um, to do when I got crit and I got put down. And then like I saw seven. I saw that you got crit and I was like, cool, we're tied. And then I was like, oh, wait, I didn't Elixir yet. So I had to menu an Elixir. Oh, did you, did you uh, delay yours too? Yeah, because I wasn't sure... I wasn't sure if I was doing two controller or not for Giovanni. Um, okay. I was still kind of undecided, so I just left it. And I had enough to get through Giovanni, but I would have had to elixir mid fight. If I had literally one more, either psychic or scald, I could have elixired during rival, uh, during rival, during five. rival five. I just one extra protect. And I elixired after Caden because my special was so bad I couldn't even go for a single scald. <laughs> So I was just having a psychic, psychic everything. So I was just like, you know what? I'll put it here so I don't have to use too many psychics. Right. 
And I had oh. to extra shop because I used so many super potions. <laughs> yeah. I, so <laughs> I picked up the hyper uh, the hyper potion in hideout because I was like, I'm double edging everything. I'm going to be so out of super potions. That's what I did. <laughs> And then I looked after, um, I don't remember where I was, but at some point I looked and I still had nine supers. And yeah. I was like, wait, I didn't have to pick that up at all. <laughs> that was at Blaine, after Blaine, I think. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I had one super before Archer, so I went and shopped in Vermillion and just bought five. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah out man, I, I wasn't really sure if you were just going to go like five supers there or just do the shop then. I, I had no I, I don't know how to do what the backup shop stuff is, like if it worked well if I did it early. So I was just like, I'm just going to buy supers here and just continue on my way. <laughs> turned yeah. out I didn't need it because I had an absolutely perfect archer fight. But <laughs> yeah, that, that turned out really well. Yeah, my yeah. power went out in the middle of archer. So <laughs> I saw. So turn one was self destruct, no protect. And I was like, cool. <laughs> And I was just mashing A as the power went out because I was like, I know that there's text boxes like for everything fainting and stuff. And then I was going to wait because, like I said, I couldn't see my switch anymore. Mm -hmm. And then I came back and Radicate was dead. <laughs> I must have psychic <laughs> into the slot. Um, it was, yeah, my catch, uh, oh, yeah, your catch, catch route was weird. something. I would, what was it, 14 at rival three? I had 27 exiting tunnel. Yeah. I had way too many Pokemon and gave, I had to figure out what I didn't need at the end. <laughs> you but had a really I good catch count. Both of you, though, had, like, ridiculously high EXP. I, I, well, it's because I, I got a super-sized Grappler. Yeah. Which helps out a lot. Yeah, but um, I did see two Tower Cubones, which was weird. I got one oh, Tower Cubone, too. I, I had... <laughs> yeah. I, well, while I was doing the trainer skip, there was two just wandering around on the floor. So yeah, Etiquette course. and Sandy had Cubone appear in the exact same spot, like right to the northwest of uh, the Chandler in the last oh, really? room, like same yep. spot. Yeah, it was there. It was like right before the cutscene trigger. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I had I had no Zubat. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Sandy got a um, Tower Zubat that you could have used. I also I, got yeah, Tower I, Zubat. That's but why I didn't I'm catch lured. It. I considered it, and then I realized I was past like the trainer's vision, so I didn't want to go back. But if I was faster, I could have figured it out and gotten it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your XP, good. your catch count and XP were good too, Sandy. Yeah, I was quiet, and I was like seven special attack points above the like plus four threshold on wheezing, so it was fine. My EV was absolutely terrible. I'm just glad that crap would help. I heard it was, yeah. <laughs> I think it was Mine... so bad. Like, zero IV, level zero I, I was into anything. I was missing every possible range. I was, in some instances, I was just like, I'm just going to do this the slow way, because I know I'm not doing this in a quick sh in, in, in quick hits at all. Yeah. I, I don't think you had any AVs in the attack, special attack, or speed. Probably not. I had... I mean, everything went to HP and defenses. It's like, what the freak? <laughs> I had and one. You were in... mischievous too. It was like, why? Wait, you were mischievous too? Oh, was man. I? Apparently. Yeah. I didn't it look like it was mischievous. I, I, let me look. Mine was. I will say that. I got. Was I, I might have just been seeing Attic. It is mischievous. Yeah. What? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> mine, mine got five out of the ten AVs in special, and then one I, in speed, one in I'm like, uh, attack. mischievous and zero AVs in the special attack. Yeah, Why? I was neutral mischievous, apparently. Yeah, I didn't even know I was mischievous. I just assumed I had, like, special defense or something, because that's all I kept seeing was special defense and defense. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool um, game. Also, I would like to formally apologize to the Ninetales that I stole the, their Voltex from them. I was, I was, I... <laughs> I was yelling at you to catch it. I know you wouldn't have, but <laughs> if I'm like, catch the nine tails. I was just standing there. I'm like, move away from the nine tails. Let me at you. Because <laughs> that, I, I like desperately needed that. At the end of the run, yeah, I had like 52 planned, I think, with Tenta and Kabuto, both marked. <laughs> and so I was like, this is not going to go well. And then everything just sort of spawned that I needed to spawn. Um. Yeah. Ponyta have... last on Route 17 kind of sucked, um, but yeah. I got a quick, quick star. You saw the CP and was like, 
this is worse than last time. And my last one was like a 1030 something too. 32. It was, it was 1032. In, okay, so this one was better, but yeah, it was better. And mine was uh, 1042. Sandy's was like 1050 or 1051. <laughs> How so. are we all below average? This isn't fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really my, bad. To be Good fair, my last, race, my last race was 1117. So. <laughs> yeah. Right, so you were about average. I think my <laughs> average is like a 1032 and then a 1030. What was this? 1037, I think? It's 10, 1034.5, I think, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's great. I had to not evolve my Pidgeotto, which was a little awkward because of too many Pokemon. I caught a Pidgey, and I was like, well, I gotta make sure to get rid of this thing at some point. <laughs> <laughs> and then I caught Nidorino before Nidoran. Yep. Yeah. Which, mm -hmm. I wasn't 100% sure if this Nidoking actually knew anything or not. That's why I kept it. It, it doesn't. Does it actually know what it's supposed to know? No, it doesn't no, know. No, it doesn't. Uh... All right, good thing I got rid of it then. You so Nidorino doesn't know poison jab, only the Nidorin does. Well, I know yeah. that now, but it would have yeah, slept anyway. This thing's minus attack. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, also, Great. also, I would like to um, apologize to both Joker and Razor for the uh, the Kangaskhan I saw before. Oh, Ryan. yeah, I was like, screw you. <laughs> Yeah, again, it's it was in the. Fine. It was right it's before the ladder. Fine. It was it was right before the ladder before the Machop trainer. I saw a Kanga there, and then <laughs> on know. the way down in the next room, I got the Rhyhorn. Amazing. Joker's like, go catch it, catch it. I'm like, uh, why? It was glowing. <laughs> it yeah, was that's glowing. why. I was like, glowing. Someone someone had a glowing Chansey, and I was like, they should catch that to get level fifty five immediately. I saw yeah, I no Chansey this run. I had a glowy Chansey in Mansion. Yeah, yeah, okay, I saw, I saw you. Because I'm like, Hedge Trunks uh, starve me so bad, but also the level ups would take forever and wouldn't be worth it, but... Yeah, the Magmar Fire Punch was clutch. I, yeah, and I was so mad that the, the Magmar plus the coughing was almost enough to, sp to skip a candy. Yeah, I was wondering if you could. Like, if I had to catch Rattata still, I could have skipped the candy. I was trying to, but it just... Or didn't. Eradicate. Yeah. If, if only the Magmar was like, super, well, I don't know if Super Size would have been good there, but it would have skipped the candy. All right. But, yeah, so Any last minute thoughts from each of our runners? I was very um, happy when I got that Chansey. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was popping off so hard when I hit that excellent, and then it right. clicked. I was like through the roof, and then I realized that I should have gotten the Clefairy first and evolved things and boxed them. And then I was on the level up screen for like two minutes. Oh gosh. <laughs> the your your peak is attack was like I was neutral, but it was like really bad neutral. Yeah. That's why I had you, to you um, plus two on the cool bat. Yeah. You didn't you didn't um you didn't uh have the coughing range on bridge at eighteen. You needed the level nineteen. Because you're like forty or forty one at eighteen. Which is yeah, but I I knew I was gonna get it, so it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. But, but it was really bad, it was yeah. So bad. <laughs> it was just so bad. I wouldn't be surprised if it was zero AVs. Probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyway, we have uh, three races coming up in the next three days. We got tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern, King Par versus Vermilion Runs versus Xeon 97, uh, lower bracket. We got another lower bracket with Spider C, Pengi versus Nuclear. Uh, that will be on July 6th at 6.30 Eastern. And then on Friday, July 7th, at 7 Eastern, seven p.m. Eastern, we got Leggy. He's here commentating. Oh, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's you. You excited? A little nervous. Um, I've been watching the pickums, and people, you know, uh, seem to be divided on who's going to win. So I'm just here hoping I'm going to put up a good show. I think they're all going to be good races. Oh yeah, they, they so, should be good races. We're at a point now where races are going to start being a lot closer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this is the—is this the closest race of the tournament? Today's it, it very well might be either this one or the one with uh, FG. Because before this, my my okay, guy my was literally right there. Well, the, but there's a DNF that you actually yes, you one. had the DNF outside the DNF. That thing was ridiculously tight. The because mm. before before today, my first round race and my second round race were the two closest races between mm, all yeah. three. Um, 
this one might be that. I think this one we want that, these. Yeah. Between first and second, yeah, I think this is the closest. Um, also, I just want to mention that uh, it's not on this schedule that you can all see, but um, it's worth mentioning that on July 8th, there are going to be three races. Um, so, like, this is, this is like one, 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 and then all of a sudden three races on the same day. So that'll be exciting as well. Mm-hmm. And, they're, and they're all, like, kind of decently spaced out from each other. So like yeah, one it's, starts and then... it's noon, 4.30, and then 8 p.m. So, like, none of them are even overlapping, which is awesome. Yep. Yeah. Well, it'll be okay. a day filled with a lot of good races. A lot of let's so go that make day. Make sure you tune in. <laughs> it should be good. Yeah, I think I think etiquette. Lo- you're definitely in pot, or you, you're pot one right now. Yeah, could get dropped to pot two. Could, easily could um, get dropped to pot two. Headstrong, headstrong is locked into upper three. Um, and King Chubbs has moved down to lower. Lower one, and then Sandy is currently top of lower one. Is or did they confirm it? No, they they're all they're they should be top. They should be lower pot one confirmed. Yeah, that's the highest time of four, so I'm locked. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's where we are for the upper bracket right now. So. Anyone else? Anything? Nope. Okay. See everyone tomorrow for the race. Yeah. Laters. Have a good one.